And we are live. Yeah, I stole the words <laughs> right out of your mouth, man. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I've never heard someone else do it. <laughs> Flashpoint number 26. This is like 25.5 per se. Yeah, it's 25. Uh, in case they drop yes. some crazy stuff on Thursday's TWA. But mm. we got a reveal stream to cover. And just as before, we kind of enjoy doing the live reactions with you guys. So combat reveal stream went live. I peeked at Twitter. I shouldn't have, but I saw like one thing. But honestly, I think there's a lot of stuff that we're going to look into um, between any subclasses or weapon mods and time to kills and things like that. So this is what we're going to be covering. So if you guys want to tune in for our live reactions and discussions, we're going to play back the archive video. Mm -hmm. We don't have the best way to do this. So we're honestly going to be hitting pause in the video, talking about things that we see and then starting to back up again. So... Bear with us if our time sinks are a little off and we have a second on those, but mostly we are here to go through the reveal stream, get our live reactions, and discuss everything as we go. Yeah, man. I mean, this is, for me personally, just to give you a little quick backstory, just, uh, yeah, for me, this is one of my personal um, streams that I've been looking forward to. This is very important to me. I want to see how they handle this. I want to, obviously, we heard about the three taps and all that stuff, but um, yeah, I'm coming in completely blind. I'm, you know, vampire waking up. Yep. And getting excited, so bear with us, but we're gonna we're gonna do this thing simultaneous. All right, so mm -hmm. I've got the stream up. I'm on 57 seconds. That's where I'm at. Are you? So when we Touch count it down, one. we'll go three, two, one, play, kind of in that sequence. And yep, we're gonna watch it live. So basically, just if you need to pause it, just hit spacebar. Works for me. Mm -hmm. And we'll mm -hmm. try and pause and talk. So anything you see, just say pause. And we'll go as we go, just like we did before. No but I hope you guys are going to enjoy the ride with us. If you haven't seen it yet, or if you guys are just going to join chat, leave comments afterwards. Let us know your thoughts and everything. But if you're in chat and you've already seen it, yeah, wait till we get to that part. Yeah. All help, right. Help, help Cognito. <laughs> Let's get this countdown going to start this countdown on screen in five, four, three, two, one, play. Fifty-five. Yeah, Fifty-four. 53, 52, 51, 50. Am I early? Yeah. Do I need a second pause? Yeah, you, you're like, right, okay. So now 45, 44, 43. How close are we now? I'm at 14, so 11, 12 for me. What? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, what are you counting down from? I'm at uh, 11, 12 on the video and 14 seconds from Destiny's prompt starting oh. soon. Mm-hmm. Let me know when we get there. So I'm at, I'm at, okay, so I jumped ahead, so I'm at five seconds. Okay. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you hit play, let me know when you're at five and I'll hit start. Cool. Sorry, guys. This is not oh, cool. the most orthodox way to do this, but. We apologize. We apologize. Uh, All right. Eight, seven, six, five. five. Go. Okay. Playing. Cool. All right. When you said five, I was hitting play. So here we go. Ah. No videos have been done this week yet, so weekly reset comes next. Alright. Right now I got my bungee logo. I always love their music. I know. Yeah. Always good stuff. Fantastic. Oh. Teen. Blood language balance. Alright. We've seen this. Mm -hmm. yeah. This we've seen. The infamous three tap. Yep. Let's go. Boom, boom. Good morning, right. and whether oh, you're watching homie. us from Twitch or YouTube, welcome to Bungie TV. Uh, I'm Deej, and I'll be your host for this combat reveal stream. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to my co-hosts, who are designers from our sandbox team. It's true. This is true, <laughs> yeah. is it not? Good morning, how are good you? Good morning, I'm very good, how are you? Good, glad Excellent. to have all three of you here. Uh, let's begin with Mr. Josh Hamrick. That's me. Hamrick. Uh, hi. How you doing? What do you want now? I want to know what you do at Bungie. <laughs> oh, I do, I drink some coffee, yeah. and I go to meetings, yeah. and uh, I try and keep these guys happy and on task, which is really a struggle. Every team needs a good <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, I am, I'm an okay leader. I think what you do is important. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. the hand on I the also leg. Worked on, uh, I also worked on mods, <laughs> and I worked on the ammo model, so I did real work for like... A very limited run. Yeah. For, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, Claude's killing Claude a bit of <laughs> Hello. Uh, taking a break from your honeymoon. 
There you go. <laughs> <laughs> show, us the, show us the shiny new right. right there. Look show that bling. Bling. This yeah. man wanted to talk to you so much about the state of combat in year two that he is actually taking a break mm -hmm. from his honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Arrived on set ten whole minutes ago. Oh man! So approved he's, approved wow. by the missus. Approved by the missus. <laughs> good. Good yeah. start. Unrehearsed. What did you have for breakfast? Oh, I had cake for breakfast. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Basking in the snow. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> really delicious. That's what I'm going to hear on the stream. Uh -huh. uh, what is your, uh, what's your specialty at Bungie on the Sandbox design team? So I'm a Sandbox designer. I work on the abilities team, uh, basically making all the new supers and all the new perks that we're doing. He, he did a good job. Right. He was so hyped, yeah. And Greg Peng. How's it going? Good. Glad to have you in one of the hot seats. Talk to us about your role on the Sandbox design team and uh, your specific contributions to the state of combat in the second year of Destiny 2. Yeah, uh, pretty much all the Forsaken weapons have gone through my hand in some way. Sometimes I'll just poke at it a little bit, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm the sandbox designer working on weapons. All right. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how the arrival of Destiny 2 Forsaken and the beginning of Year 2 is going to change the way we all fight. Uh, the ch changes in weapon balance, the changes in abilities, uh, the, some of the new features that will allow you to configure the way you play uh, are going to be available to all players of Destiny 2. Uh, some of these changes will even arrive before Forsaken on August 28th. Mm -hmm. nice. And what we want to do is give you uh, a pre-mission briefing so that you can start thinking right now about how you might be configuring your Guardian so that it's uh, a good reflection of how you are as a player. Uh, with that, Josh, talk to me a little bit about what are the overarching goals? When you take a look at Destiny 2 Year 2, uh, what were your goals in approaching the work that you and your team did together to make a new combat meta? Yeah, I think we, you know, we, looked, at, we looked at Year 1 and saw what people were, were saying and thinking and how the game was being played and kind of you know, what, what we were seeing happen with the game. And so we came out of it with um, one thing we wanted to do is give, more, give players more options for them to specifically tweak and tune their loadout to play the way they want to play. Mm -hmm. um, I'm <laughs> front lines, I'm in the air quite a bit, right? Yeah. I, I, want, I play for speed and efficiency, yeah. uh, which means I die a lot. Uh, but in those regards, <laughs> like I wanted tools to be able to tweak that play style to play the way I yeah. play, right? Let Whereas people Claude, embrace a specific role. Exactly. In, the, in, in combat. Yeah. Versus Claude, who plays poorly and slow. Wow. Um, yeah, so he has different. Us. I play poorly and slow. <laughs> I mostly use grenade launchers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a support <laughs> player. I love my rift. <laughs> yeah. And everybody gets a little gun buddy over their shoulder. Yeah, That's exactly. right. Play. Talk, uh, talk and then we wanted to... <laughs> Wait, why? It's a waste. We wanted uh, we wanted the game to be interesting for longer, and so that means things like the drops you're getting. We wanted to be special and uh, fun. You know, every time you see something hit your screen, you want to go, "Ooh, what is that?" Right? We want to bring that yeah. that moment back. And the tenth better devils, if you will. Exactly. Oh, we want oh, the tenth better yeah. devils to still oh, be as exciting as your first shot. better devils, because yeah, it could be like, the best devils. It was sad. Uh, it could be. Uh, yeah. And then as well the kind of doing the same thing with the meta. We didn't want the meta to get stale as quickly, and so um, one of the nice things, those kind of work in concert, and so if you deliver one, then the, mm -hmm. you know, the meta stays fresh for longer because everybody's sure. rotating through different things. The more players discover the perfect combination of these different elements, the more they may shift their fighting more, style, the yep. more they may adapt the to each other. Exactly, way. and because it's a long, yeah, slow like rollout, like right, then it's, you know, it, it slowly changes the landscape over time. Uh, and then the last huge thing, huge, and the thing we'll talk about most today is we wanted to bring back uh, even more hero moments, and doing that specifically through uh, increased skill gap. Like we wanted to, to make the game not harder to play, but certainly, we wanted to make the game in the right hands be special and and uh, you know insane to watch, right? We wanted mm -hmm. we wanted the people who are who are best at the game to, to mm -hmm. shine and for people to look at those people and say like, yeah. how did you do sure. that? Yeah. I don't that want that. that's what I want. And both in the way that the tweets they made to their loadout, the abilities they're choosing to run, the armor they're choosing to run, the weapons they're choosing to run, and just the the way that they play mm -hmm. the game. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Now Claude, we have. How many new supers in Forsaken? Mm. <laughs> so we, we added nine. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? We added nine new supers. Mm. Uh, so basically we wanted to add a lot more variety to the way you can customize your existing subclasses mm -hmm. because we felt like we wanted to make everyone have a new way to play. Basically mm -hmm. that was our main goal. And yeah. so we added new supers and associated perks for each of those supers as well. We have to talk about the old so supers. So even if players do not join us in the Tangled Shore, 
for this new adventure mm -hmm. in Forsaken, but we certainly hope that you do. Uh, but if you just come along with us uh, into the adventures of year two um, without being a player of Forsaken, they're still going to find some changes to the mm -hmm. existing subclasses that they know and love. Yeah, so oh! when we changed the customization options Hold for on. weapons, it basically meant that lethality was going to change as well. And so abilities needed to react to all the weapon changes and so that you could have a lot of uh, viable options to counter a player that's coming at you with guns that are more lethal as well. Mm -hmm. And so grenades changed, uh, supers had to get more reliable in a bunch of different ways, and, and, so faster. We looked at, and faster, and so we looked at a bunch of ones that were underperforming currently, bumped them Not up, and then looked at the like ones that I were underperforming said. relative to the I new sandbox, and started to tweak them here and there. Yep. And so a lot of the existing uh, perks and melee abilities and grenades and stuff got changed to help Dang. react to all the lethality changes. <laughs> Uh, we'll see uh, a hey, lot I'm more evidence of those sorts of things when we actually take to the Crucible boy. for a live fire I exercise. Always do that. Uh, talk about a man that knows his craft. Not a single <laughs> moment of rehearsal. Uh, <laughs> 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 you're, doing, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Uh, stomach full of cake, heart full of love. That's right. <laughs> Yo, so, uh, Greg, we're, uh, we're doing a lot of telling. Uh, sure, we we're are. doing a lot of talking about how we've changed the sandbox. Let's show them. Shall we? Yeah, uh, let's go to it. You have a controller in your hand. Uh, you're going to be the driver. And uh, we have a oh, warlock one, up on screen. Uh, is that your warlock? Sure, no, it is not my warlock. This is a... Uh, I love that armor. That's similar. Yeah, almost, really. <laughs> this is a dev environment. Yeah. So, uh, a doppelganger. For those of you watching, uh, you know, you might see some things that you won't completely understand. Oh, You'll see some things so that aren't completely that finished. Uh, you might even see some, uh, you know, elements of the UI either here or in-game that might not look entirely finished, but that's what we do when we bring you into our creative process. So Greg, so, so, show uh, us what's different Yeah, exciting. let's start out no, by talking seasons, about slots. So okay. as you yes, notice, sir. Uh, we still have the three slot system, kinetic, energy, and power. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the paradigm still lies that you know kinetic weapons go in, in the first slot. Rampage uh, and a grenade launcher. Energy huh? type weapons yeah. go in the second slot. And power weapons go in the third slot. Mm -hmm. However, you'll notice that next to the light level of the weapon now is, is a little ammo the, the type icon of weapon. that the type says of ammo. primary yeah. or special mm -hmm. or heavy. So basically what we've done is we've turned what ammo a weapon takes into an attribute of the weapon rather than tying it to the slot, which mm -hmm. means that in the kinetic slot, we can run both primary and special weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, the same with the energy slot, primary and special. Weapons. I just want to see how they move and it across. In the heavy like, slot, just drag and drop. Or, sorry, in the power slot, you can only run heavy slot, heavy weapons. Yeah. So, I love how it's um, back to take a look at heavy. this lovely menagerie yeah. of weapons we have here. Uh, here we have a shotgun. Here we have a hand cannon, a bow. A bow is also going to be a primary weapon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brand new archetype for players of Forsaken only. Some varieties of better devils here. <coughs> Pulse rifle, sniper rifle. Mm. And here in the energy slot, we have also shotguns, bows, snipers. And not featured here, fusion rifles as well. Mm -hmm. nice. And also trace rifles. Um, nice. We actually upgraded trace rifles to a special ammo, which means that they will be doing more damage in your two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so here in the interesting in the power slot we have grenade launchers. We have is that all grenade launchers, Greg? Uh, no, actually we've also created or uh, we've also changed some of the single shot grenade launchers into using special. Yeah, ammo. that would make so sense they will because also that has do more utility. Different damage concussions than the, and stuff the like heavy that. grenade yep. launchers. And did you yeah you touch them to yeah. fit appropriately? They will fit slots. appropriately. Yeah. Um, rocket forever. launchers. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, swords and linear fusion rifles. Uh, so it's not just a matter of you know crazy free for all. Just <laughs> use any weapon in any slot. You've curated this. You've taken a look at this from a, a perspective of how can we still create still be some DPS semblance of balance and order. Of but you're giving us more <laughs> options. Is that kind of an accurate summary of how the weapon slots are changing? Absolutely. I mean, so you want to let you play the way you want to play. You want to play a D1 loadout? Play a D1 loadout. If you want to play a D2 loadout, play a D2 loadout. Yeah, baby. You want those options to be available. Yeah. Um, but if you're crazy... If you're crazy... You, you can crazy. roll three shots. You sure can. Mm -hmm. Or grenade right. launchers. <laughs> or grenade launchers, that's right. There are, there are a couple, yeah. of, couple of rolls like that that you can run 
three weapons with. And so so the, the flow of ammunition <laughs> on the battlefield has always been one of the ways that we've been able to kind of control the flow of combat and how these fights uh, spin out in real time. How is that changing in year two, or how have these new design decisions impacted the way that works? Yeah, so what we found is like we, we knew we wanted to change slots. Like we, we heard all the feedback. We ourselves had been playing with it. Uh, what we didn't want to do was just roll back. Like we felt like we could do something more interesting, yep. which you're getting to see here today, and we're mm -hmm. super happy with the way that this started to play. What we realized in a hurry was that the weapon ammo model was certainly going to have to change to support mm -hmm. this. Uh, and then later, as we'll talk about, that also rolls right downhill into then that needs to change lethality as well. And then lethality mm -hmm. rolls further downhill and that means that needs to change abilities, et cetera, et cetera, which we'll cover all today. Uh, nice. As far as the ammo mm -hmm. model goes, though, what we realized was we, we wanted to... We wanted to support players actually playing the way they wanted to play. We didn't, we didn't want to make a promise and then say, like, but you can't really do it, right? Like, in yeah. super special yeah. circumstances. For yeah. sure, if you play three of the same weapon, or even two specials, you're going to have a harder time on your hands keeping ammo in than right. if you are running uh, dual primaries, which is obviously the easiest thing to keep mm -hmm. up with ammo. Mm -hmm. um, but then the game will feed you fine if you're running a D1-style loadout or, yeah. or a mere D1-style loadout. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. But the cool thing is that as long as you're like, for example, in PvP, which we'll show you in just a little bit, you do respawn with ammo, uh, including special ammo. And mm. so you're always mm. being fed ammo to keep you playing. And so even in the case of running dual specials, like you're going to be in the game, you're going to be playing, you're going to be able right. to do stuff. And I so think you run out faster. Some of our way, better but players, at least if you die, you get a you know, run the gauntlet ammo. of being able to run. My worries, PVE. Maximum uh, yeah. special weapons and heavy weapons. Take away and, and stay afloat. And you <laughs> they may even surprise you. They may even like they do. Uh, Greg. Uh, I can see that on this specific character, uh, you've got some duplicates of the same weapon. I do. Why would you do that? Well, uh, <laughs> That's as we have announced previously, random rolls are back. Random so let's, rolls let's, are back. Let's delve let's into that. this. Yes, let's go. Let's go down. Let's go down. That's a good word. Uh, what is it? Menagerie. 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 If you don't know the definition of the word menagerie, look it up. It's fun. <laughs> so here we have a better devils with Zen moment. Outlaw. Outlaw. Wow, that's a good roll. Tactical mag, steady <laughs> rounds, and a that's variety a great of roll. pretty uh -huh. sweet sights. You say now, I would say this is a pretty good devils. Yeah, pretty good devils. Yeah, pretty good Solid. Devils. Not a bad devil. It's not, it's not a bad devil, right? <laughs> not a bad devil. Uh, it's an optimal DPS. I think I devils. might have a better devil. I question. might. This feels it's rehearsed. Good. Actually, it's not. <laughs> it's not. We did not rehearse that joke <laughs> in a minute. it live. Ooh. Here's a, here's a pretty spicy, spicy Fine, devil. Grip. Moving to the <laughs> <laughs> It's like a, it's like a hot sauce. Kind of a, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is like a trash roll. <laughs> this one's got hip fire. Oh, this might be like moving target. Mm -hmm. Also tackle on that instead of runs. Um, you know what? I think I think I have got a best devil. A best best. I think I might best. have a best oh, devil. I think I saw it for yeah. a second. Let's too. see. Let's look at his best devil. I don't know, Greg. All right, all right. Isn't that one he just picked? That's okay. Mm. Rangefinder is oh. back. Holy, yeah, okay. okay. Ooh, explosive payload. Oh, um, explosive <laughs> payload. Rangefinder. 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 I've heard of that one. Drop, Drop mag. mag. Drop Pretty mag. Good. Mm -hmm. And the crossfire. Oh, we get D1 fields. I'm getting D1 fields. The best levels of all of the all the lot. Yeah. Now, so that, whole perk set, that whole perk set there has been randomized. Let's find yes. it back. That's a Every big deal. Every single time a better devil drops in the crucible, it's going to have a different role. It could be a better devil. Yeah. It could be the <laughs> best. There How could always be a better devil. Well, yeah, we have much. this thing here, which is the masterwork. So, of course, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. previous masterworks just went from uh, one to five. So yep. you basically right. get somewhat of like a five percent bonus at the max. Yep. Yeah. We have now made masterwork go all the way to ten. For weapons. For weapons. Okay. Yeah. What? Oh, uh, this isn't crazy. So, which means that you can actually get a 10% range boost on this Better Devils if you level it up. Um, gotcha. So they can okay. Even even better devils. Even yeah. better. Well, better. It takes devils. a little more. It's not just one to five to ten. It's a yeah, it's a ten remember. point scale, and you can upgrade it and upgrade it. And Keep on going. Yep. Keep on going. But where's the visual indicator of I'm watching what? on the right? It is picking up slowly the on the right side. When you're it's when growing. you're upgrading the range this, is, yeah. what yeah, stats I see it. are you yes, manipulating? Yes. What are you? What, see, what's I'm the wondering if it's like from this weapon. seven just, just tier. If the ten tiers are the same as like term. the one tier. Before. So that's what, I, that's uh, what it feels for like, hand honestly. cannons, there's a subset of stats that you can masterwork: range, stability, handling, reload. 
Um, we actually, so because we're going through more of a leveling type system now, we moved the magazine mass work to now it is a mod, um, which I will show you next is the yeah, new that's... and improved mod system. Oh, and it's Whoa. Whoa. Like you're leveling up you gotta, to what we you call it. Yeah. the whole thing. And like, yeah, it's but it's some cool levels is like... kill trackers. Oh, wait, what's this? Okay. And you can switch okay, between cool. them. Oh, they're giving you yeah. okay. for free. So when you level it up. So here we have the empty mod socket. Oh. And as you can see, the damage type mods are gone. However, we've replaced it with this plethora of drastically plethora. They really let us get more intricate weapons. <laughs> Menagerie. <laughs> Menagerie of mods. Backup yeah. mag. So they don't just <laughs> manipulate the energy grip. type. Icarus grip. They're actually going to have attack mm -hmm. or impact on the way you fight. Oh, they do. Yeah. Okay. This is why we were talking about in the first goal right, about being able to do that. Extra damage. Enemies, what? Screenshots. Screenshots. Exactly. A bunch of people. Uh, you know, we've talked mm -hmm. about and we're excited about the like inner accuracy mod. Wait, those, that you are can those are mods. Those are the mods. There's a quick oh, radar yes. return mod that you can apply. Um, yeah, all all things to to. To make the game play a little more the way that you play. And how do I acquire these mods? That's a lot of customers. They are going to yeah. drop what are the two the below the mods on the weapon? Though? However, you're like, oh, yeah. but how am I going to get them out of the weapon once they're in the weapon? Yeah. Tell us, Greg. Well, <laughs> <laughs> tell us, Greg. <laughs> so here we have that pretty good Devils with the major spec mod on it. And I will shard it. Dismantle it. Behold, there is the major spec mod. Now. There you go. Nice. So you take you can your bank, yeah. and you can use it. Because if we're random rolls, you're gonna. You so you can get a weapon with a random roll that you're like, it. this is an okay yes. roll. I'm gonna keep it. You can get a weapon with a roll that you're like, this isn't as good, but it had a mod on but it. But it had a mod. I like. I can dismantle it. Eco friendly. I like that. Eco friendly mod. We all use different words for dismantling weapons. You shards. You nuke. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Nuke. Very powerful. It's extreme. It's all the same activity though. Uh. All right, now let's see. Let me take a look. For Random a rolls, perks, sure, mods. Pause it, right, pause it. Anything else you want to cover about right. the weapons specifically? I'm at 30-12. But, um, yeah, 30, this is interesting. 12. Yeah, I'm at 30, Random rolls, yeah, perks, mods. Mm -hmm. Anything? 12, okay. So, yeah, this is interesting, man. What, what, what are you thinking? Let me get your thoughts first. Um, so the masterwork, if there are 10 tiers, but it's the same little bump as before, that's kind mm. of... Making it unnecessarily longer, personally. Yes, after so. Um, the mod slots I'm digging. So more yes. variety mods. The mods that actually change bosses or counterbalance that you can pick. And I still want to know what the two underneath are, but you can add another one on. So I guess that's mm -hmm. your incentive to masterwork because you get that you then get that extra slot. Right. So basically, what they're trying to do is. This is, I guess, what part of what they were talking about earlier with leveling and growing with your weapon kind mm -hmm. of a deal. Yep. So basically, the vibe I'm getting, correct me if I'm wrong, the vibe I'm getting is that 10% that we, or 5%, whatever it is that we currently get now, you have to now level up to that. But right. once you level up to that, then it looks like you unlock more perks on the gun. Seems like and it. Yeah, yep. and, and, and then, you, then, like I said, you have that custom customization. However, if one of the mods that you initially put on that weapon... You know what I'm saying? You really like, but you don't necessarily care for the role of the weapon. You can then shard it and then keep that mod, which is very cool because it's going to be times where it's like, wow, I really like this mod that does more impact or, you know, the mod that gives me, you know, Icarus with air accuracy, but I don't really care for the weapon. Right. Yep. Breaking that, that that's a big deal. You know what I'm saying? That, that That's actually a real deal because now you really – Gonna, the mod's gonna have real importance, man. Like if, you, especially if you like certain ones and you want to put that on specific weapons, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. At first, I thought they were just artificially extending the masterwork thing, but once I've seen once you level it up and what you get, it's, it's yeah. almost acting like a catalyst at, once you unlock it, right? Yeah, so it's kind of. It kind of gives another extra little slot, and I guess you got two other below it. Maybe I still don't mm -hmm. know what those are. Yeah, um, sure don't my know those so my question though is. If mm -hmm. I work on my better devils and I get one and I put all my master, I think, okay, this is, it's solid. It's good for PVP. I'm going to use mm -hmm. this. Then I get a new one, but mm -hmm. I've already leveled this thing up to 10 and I don't mm -hmm. have that many cores. If I break this thing down, am I going to get some of my cores back? You're talking about the masterwork core itself. Yeah, the cores when that I you spend the... to level it up. Yeah, 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 I know. When I saw that short, when I saw the breakdown, I didn't see any, um, 
I don't know if he oh, broke well, down a masterwork though. That's why I'm, I did. That know. is true. That yeah. is true. Yeah, he may not have broken down. A so word, that's actually. like that's, that's a one question. of those things where if you put the time in, maybe you won't get them all back. But if you'll get, you know, I mean, it looked like quite a few cores, like fifteen mm-hmm. cores or something like that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, if you get most of them back, I'd be okay. But I would hate to dump fifteen cores. Oh, which, yeah, I mean, right. I've been playing a little more. I've been playing. Like, as much as some people, I've been playing a little more, but I still only have, looking at my inventory, I have 111 Masterwork cores. Oh, I mean, wow. I have a decent sure. am- yeah, I was like, mm-hmm. I have a decent amount, but if it's 15 per gun, and you're going to have random rolls and builds, like, those are going to be gone real fast. So Yeah, you're going to be flying through those. So they're either going to have to maybe have to change the drop rate of those. But see, here's the other question. You're not going to be getting Masterwork drops because you're going to level them up, so where are the cores going to come from? That's a good question. We have to find out the source of the cores now. Yep. That's a great question. So, mm-hmm. Lots of questions continually. So, all right, ready to start this thing back up in three, two, one, go. Anything go. else you want to cover about the weapon specifically? It seems like it runs oh. the gamut, yeah? No yeah, light level. Pretty much. There's no light Airborne level on the mods now. Yeah, no oh, yeah. Level. No, so better right. target yeah. acquisition. It's just about just tactical game. That's a game. big just deal. That's an assist, bro. You want to yeah. keep, make, make your customization deeper, but also make the game a little bit simpler to understand. So many options. Okay. Yeah. I'm shocked they brought so, Rangefinder back. Loot drops oh. can be more interesting over time. The combat meta can evolve and change over time as people discover more interesting combinations. Uh, this looks promising. Um, when you oh, make these changes, though, cap, if the you make the slightest <laughs> change to anything in Destiny, we've got this crazy sandbox that uh, impacts a menagerie of activities. <laughs> uh, know, menagerie. People are going to use <laughs> this new weapon system uh, on everything from a uh, final how, raid boss to, to the people that they meet in the Crucible. I see them yep. move and when you start making these changes, like it that. impacts every other system in the game. I like how that you know, looks. It's like if the yes. game is yeah, like sweet. an organism, if I give you a bigger heart, you're going to need a ro- more robust circulatory system. So like, translate a metaphor like that into the work you do. When you start playing around with weapon slots and when you start playing around with ammunition flow and different perks to make people more lethal, how does that impact mm, everything, and what else, what other changes did you have to make in order to keep up? Yeah, it's kind of surprising the amount of things that touch uh, touches when you start to change it. So, we, like I said, we started with slots. We knew we wanted to change it, so we changed that, and we got ourselves into a position where it was okay. Ooh, we either we shot, either yeah. affect ammo. Uh, well, we got to build a new ammo system. Radar immediately regardless. returns. So we build a new ammo system to work with the slots, and okay, then we need to give out third third ammo yeah. so that people have enough uptime because we oh, felt strongly there. that. You know, we're Just going like to promise a, delay, a system, and then people back. are going to get in, mm-hmm. and they're going to feel like they don't get a chance oh, to play. So, so that either means you give out more ammo, enemies. or or you have to deal with that. Vehicles. And we didn't feel mm. like that was the right call. So we gave out more ammo. We gave you more uptime for those special weapons. Uh, when yeah, you that, do that, that I got to I'm seeing a lot of varied stuff. And then that means those who don't have special weapons are suddenly dead to rights all the time, right? And I'm hoping with stuff like this, they might be able to add like one or two mods later. And so. We, you know, we we pushed down this road. We got to that point where we realized, like, we're, we've got to get more ammo. Yeah, this is so like, this is right there. Cool. If we just are delivering on this, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be the thing that we promised it would be. It will be enjoyable. Yeah. But that means making the call to go ahead and change lethality. Mm-hmm. And so Greg was like, "Hey, I got an idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slam up precision damage and let's see how that plays." And we're like, uh, "Okay, mm-hmm. let's do mm-hmm. it. Check it. Why not? Let's go for it." And so we checked it in and we mm-hmm. played it. And you know, it's it's been tweaked a lot since then, as Greg can talk about. But the idea totally worked, right? Yeah. We're like, oh yeah, this is this is better. This so is what we need to if do. If I like to play with an auto rifle, or if someone out there likes to play with a hand cannon, and all of a sudden we've got all these shotguns and all these grenade launchers moving further up into the weapon slots where you're going to see them more often. Yep. Uh, I'm not just going to get overrun and now my auto rifle's worthless. No. But you're re- putting the requirement on me to evolve. I now have to embrace precision fighting because I'll tell you, I don't. You know, <laughs> like what did we say before? Nah. We play, we play slow and bad and dumb. You we know. take our time. We take our time. <laughs> take our time. I get it right. I, I aim fun. for center mass. There's more to hit there. So in order to have the greater time to kill, uh, it's it's about. Yeah. It is. Uh, or you play smart. I really like the D2 system, and I want to run two hand cannons and, yeah. a, and, a, and some version of a sniper, right? And so, uh, again, by pushing that lethality up, it makes that totally possible. Like, I, yeah. I play fine. And, in fact, mm-hmm. I never run out of ammo, and it's amazing, right? I can just, <laughs> I can just nice. play forever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and so, like, being able to do all those play styles, but then, a lot of as I think you're alluding to, uh, 
that then starts to show through in other ways. We're like, now the guns are awesome, and when I run mm -hmm. up to somebody and yeah. give them a high five when I was trying to punch them in the face, that suddenly does yeah. not totally. feel so good. So. so across the entire spectrum of space magic, mm -hmm. Claude, mm -hmm. uh, abilities, whether it's melees or supers or what have you, mm -hmm. uh, when you took a look at this new sandbox, what changes did you feel needed to be made to all players, <laughs> not just Everything. the new... Let's go. Supers, this but is the question. Any player that has their favorite super or has their favorite melee, uh, what did you feel needed to be done in order to kind of bring that stuff into balance with everything else that mm -hmm. was exciting and shiny and new and more powerful? Yeah, I think like uh, like more of what Josh was saying. Like we we'll make these changes and we'll we'll have ideas about how it'll work out, like what things will change down the line. Um, but we need to play it at the end of the day. So we'll, we'll get it in the lab. We'll play it every day over and over and over again. And it'll, we just think about like what decisions are we making as a player, right? Yeah. Like, um, someone's rushing me with a shotgun, I'm like, when do I, what can I do? And if those decisions are feeling shallow, like I don't have, the, like I just die, then that doesn't feel great, and so we yeah. start touching other weapons, but then it still feels a little bit more shallow than we want it to, mm -hmm. so we look at other options. Um, and so in particular, the, I would say the, probably the biggest um, change to the neutral game of mm -hmm. the abilities, uh, just like mm -hmm. non-supers mm -hmm. basically, is we, may, we went back to two hit melees. So two, two melee hits will oh kill a guardian. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's that huge. changed a whole lot. There's a whole yeah, lot of whole downstream. Lot. That's huge. Uh, two melees, mm -hmm. three shots to the Time head. To yeah. 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 So, so things yeah. start moving faster again. And so you know, you start thinking about like, so it a little better. It felt terrible. Um, because it's going to be a lot more chaotic, a lot more hectic, a lot fast-paced combat. And so once we went to two hit melee, a lot of things that already exist um, or sort of tuned around to hit melee, yeah. or and three hit melee rather. Before you go into this, like I think that's an excellent example of as you, as I think everybody can start to see, like every decision we make, like mm -hmm. even like, a lot of them you can predict, right? But mm -hmm. it's like if we do this, that mm -hmm. means we're suddenly doing <laughs> this, right? Mm -hmm. And if we do that, are we going to have to do this? And so we play it to find out because you don't. Sometimes it yeah. surprises mm -hmm. you. You're like, oh, yep. it turns out this is fine. Sure. And, and sometimes, case, uh, sometimes, sometimes we won't find it. Like it's a risk, yep. but it's worth yep. taking. Yep. I think. So. And so when we change to hit melee, we nice. predict like the approach, and then end up changing. Yeah. But mm -hmm. when Claude's going next, I'll let you yep. finish. Tell me yeah. more, Claude. So, so there's a bunch of stuff like uh, in D2 launch that we uh, tuned around the whole three hit melee model, where we said uh, nothing would instantly evaporate you. But in a two-hit melee world, there needs to be some power spikes. And those power spikes started to become things like shoulder charge again. So all the shoulder oh, charge mechanics, oh, shield dash, yeah. um, hammer oh, strike, nice. all the ones that are basically, you go out in third person, you, you punch them one, those are going to now one hit. And yes! So those guys are back, back. to their, their previous place. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy <laughs> uh, about that. that. You wear the, yeah, you and your <laughs> warlock <laughs> whiners. Um, and then similarly, uh, we looked at a bunch of the first. I just wasn't mad. Uh, uh, just needed uh, more. Damage, though. like grenade, like. Voidwalker's charge grenades also deal more damage now, for instance. Good. Um, basically, yeah, anything nice. that was promising damage uh, increases, we need to reevaluate in this new world of lethality. Yeah. And then my personal favorite, which mm -hmm. we haven't touched on, we've only teased a little bit, is, uh, is Tether. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. So that's a good uh, example of one of the hunters. supers that need to change to yeah. sort of become more reliable in this new world as well. And so we, we uh, deep so we had a, a bunch of ideas what we could do with Night Stalker in general for... Um, some of the feedback we've gotten around how Shadow Shot is unreliable, and we yeah, wanted to slow. evaluate slow. them uh, in sequence. And one of the things that we found pretty early on was that Tether actually uh, isn't as reliable as it needs to be. Yeah. It, it's not finding guys as frequently, like people are passing through it, they're not getting tethered fast enough, that kind of thing. Yeah. And so we basically mm -hmm. found a way to increase the, I'll call it search frequency, mm -hmm. that the Tether mm -hmm. can um, activate on. Nice. So now it's like, yeah. it's, it's fast. It'll it's find brutal. you. It yeah, will find you. Nice. Nice. It will yeah. find you. But that's what should be. Uh, <laughs> so what do you do with Slam? Quick yeah. my Storm Call. Uh, yeah, storm call is, yeah, Storm Call, let's go. Um, we yep. also no up the lethality of that. So that's basically going to zap guys down. Yes. Okay. Forget it. I mean, you're a gunslinger, actual. What'd you do to Golden Gun? Golden Gun. Man, you found all the stuff. I guess it's good. We had a few rehearsals. Yeah, while you were out <laughs> eating cake. So the golden gun, <laughs> cake so here. good. Uh, we'll come back to that. We'll do some of these conversations. All right, so yeah. golden gun um, got a little bit more time. So in this new world of fast base yes. action, we wanted you to have the ability to sort of yeah more carefully choose your targets, and so we gave all the golden gun versions a couple more seconds, so literally two more seconds. Uh, all, run around with your one shot golden all gun. All golden gun versions evaporate, guys. Um, Similarly, throwing knife uh, came up in damage to match the new to hit melee world. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a good preview. nice. Mm -hmm. I go. think the best Hunters evidence of uh, the work that you've done, and you can call it out when you see it, mm -hmm. uh, can be found in a live fire exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to go there right now. 
Uh, we're going to go it? to yes. Cosmo. No, I'm at 3912 with Cosmo's face. 3913. So we're going to go there right now. Sorry about the repeat on stream. Paused. Okay. All right. Looking at Cosmo and Kevin. Yes. I love the final boss t-shirt. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> so, Cosmo, I love Cosmo's face right now on my screen. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's like, uh, huh? uh. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, man. So, mm -hmm. there are some tweaks. Yes. Um, I uh, First of all, on stream, I need an apology. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need it on screen, bro. I've had to hear it for months. They're not going to do it. It's not going to be of time. It's going to be just the new thing. Everybody's going to just use the new stuff. And the old stuff's going to get to it. So they are bringing I, the... No, I was like, what, what I want to say is they are bringing the lethality up. Mm-hmm. One of my questions is like, okay, so... I guess it's kind of like, it depends on what supers you use. And it sounds like they hit the ones that people don't use that much, which is good. Because right, I right. run around with hammers and I'm like, okay. But then I see this like monster hammer, throwing hammer, like torch <laughs> fire thing. Right. My honest, honest worry was like some was damaged, and that it sounds like they're handling. So yes, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Fine, thank, thank, that's I, all. I, that's all you wanted to hear. You're a man of your word. I but on the that. other side, what's that? Um, I think some of the new ones just seem cooler. In of course, general, of course, of course. And so Absolutely. it's like, yeah. so I feel like there are some things where if they make them a little snazzier, like I mean, the tether mm. being instant. Is a huge thing for PvP, I know, but in PvE, the faster you can save your own butt is going to be huge, too. Yeah. So, oh, I mean, absolutely. the tether speed, um, your warlocks mm -hmm. are getting some love, got some Finally, color. Yeah, that was huge. That was yeah. huge. Because Storm, Storm, Storm Caller, as it currently sits, you can literally waste 75% of your trance. And just barely get the yellow bar down. Oh, I know. Oh, I hate how in PVE especially Stormbrands oh, is like, am awful. I just tickling you? Are you are you feeling yeah, it's this? Tickling. And then, yeah, it's the same thing with lethality in PvP. It's like it's not quick enough so that people can get away. You can get really destroyed in PvP. It, it's it's just it's just not that effective. So it's good. Like I said, for them to, to go back. Now, like, I agree, co completely agree with what you said. The new ones look cooler, and it's new. It's shiny. We want to touch it. Yeah. Honestly. But, like I said, I'm just so glad that they, they went back. And it's, don't, don't, these was funny. These were the, two of the biggest buffs, in my opinion, that needed to happen were Hunter and um and that Warlock suit. Okay, you know, I'm, yeah. And the, the last request we'll see, because I know they're not going to go through every patch note and everything right now on the no. stream. The only request I'm hoping for is Dawnblade. And I know that the new mods will help mm -hmm. um, Dawnblade Uptree, which is all about being in the air and having you needing in-air accuracy to get, you know, stuff back. And it, it's a cool build, you know what I'm saying, in theory, on paper. Right. But and we have some mods that like to adjust, but I still want to see if they did anything else because the bottom tree Dawnblade is the superior you know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. not even it's not even close. So this is really cool the overall from what we've heard so far. And we know that like I guess when it comes to things like this, it's generally a bigger list of pack notes and improvements oh, for I mean, each day. Yeah. yeah. So they're just giving us, you know, this minor version of probably the highest complaint stuff. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. But I am excited, man. I'm excited. Yeah. See, different. it's like and then the other side of it too is when you actually think of the perks on the trees. Some of those mm -hmm. that I feel may need buffs, as you're saying, I'm kind of curious where those are going to fall. And we'll have to see yes. the patch notes and stuff, but yes. some of the newer perks seemed noticeably much more specifically beneficial to like a certain super. It's like, so then yes. how are you going to tweak if you have the storm collar, like Kamehameha, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. got its only single option. Are there going right. to be two for that? It's like, those are some more of the pieces I want to see to know. Is the new option just going to be badass because it's only got one? Is the old ones, right. both trees are kind of, as you're saying, mediocre. Some need some help. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. some things still need a little love. So the perk trees, again, we'll have to see. But, all but right. one, one last comment before we start back. We also have to keep in mind when we look through those mods, right? The mods now, that customization now ties into the super. Because remember, we saw stuff like, let's just say, you know, I'm still dissatisfied with Stormcaller Lethality, right? Mm -hmm. I can start building weapons, right? That now I saw stuff that said like against major bosses, against yeah. vehicles, you know what I'm saying? To even further increase lethality. I think that's cool. Like you could almost have like a PVE build mod. But yeah, mod but I mean that's like, gonna be damage of that weapon. It's not gonna affect your super. That yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're absolutely I mean right. if they say buff your super on a the mod, then hell yeah, bring it on. Yeah, but... no, you're right. But, you know, I guess I get caught up with um 
in their accuracy for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But oh, yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. You're right. Yeah, like that hand cannon would be better if you switch to your scout. That's gone. Yeah, absolutely. No, you're right. So, All right. You ready to get back into it? All right. We'll get it going in three, two, one, go. To go. Cosmo, Cosmo. Yeah, friendly neighborhood guys. community manager, and Kevin Giannis. Uh, gentlemen, uh, real quick, introduce yourselves to our stream audience. Talk about what you do at Bungie. And uh, then we'll go and we'll take a look at uh, all of these that changes and all the these on promises the that we've made in real time. Hi, uh, I'm Kevin Giannis. I'm a senior crucible designer here. I work on game modes, ammo system, ranks, things that everyone cares about. And I'm here to talk to you about weapons. I'm Cosmo, community manager. I'm in charge of uh, taking all of your feedback, writing the TWAB, and uh, telling you new things that's coming to Destiny. All right, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, go take a look at a brand new crucible map. You guys have touched down on Destination, and uh, this Message. is an educational ceasefire. Uh, what would you like to do in order to help us with a little proof of concept uh, before we actually get into the fight? Yeah, so uh, we're going we're gonna to demonstrate some of the time to kill changes here. Uh, Cosmo and I have picked a hey, loadout hey, here yeah. to represent archetypes. I'm running like a, an aggressive pulse rifle and a nice rapid fire uh, scout rifle. Yeah, so you're running two heavy primaries, scouts. right? Double primary Ooh, and a sweet new sword. And you loaded in with a heavy with, scouts with a metric so ton bad. of ammo there. Well, I picked some up. Oh, well, <laughs> but <laughs> you, you did. Just say off? you did. <laughs> All right, let's shoot some people. All right, sure. Yeah, uh, I'll start with this uh, aggressive pulse. As you can see here, a two burst Ooh. almost melts. Almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then with this uh, rapid fire scout, Oof. five <laughs> shots to the head and gone. Mm -hmm. As you see here, he dropped his special ammo right on the floor. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. How about yourself, Mr. Cosmo Man? All right. Got this nice assault rifle. Oh. Mm. Pretty fast time to go. Even mm -hmm. with the uh, body shots, it, uh, that's still pretty quick at the body. It's pretty quick. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Shooting him in the crotch. And also got is this the aggressive. Hank yeah, this needs love. Let so me I see. Just kind of one, one two, two, and then three. Oh, nice. There's the Hard three tap, spicy. The two body was real. Two body, one head. That's so real. Two body, one mm -hmm. head. That's right. actually so, uh, very So before doable. we get into the fight, yeah. unless there's anything else you want to show us at point blank, yeah, uh, sure. Why don't you guys go into your build and uh, configure yourselves? Come on, let me see. For uh, super a couple of dream. exhibition matches in class and, and they talk show to it. our friends who are That's watching the, from home mm. or wherever they the find armor themselves. Mods, by the way, about the what yeah, armor you're making know, and exactly know, what role you want to play in combat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run a double primary build here, and I'm gonna be running uh, a new weapon, Luna's Howl, and mm. I'm gonna see, run a bow. It. Actually, let me see it. I know, so just do it. Button. It's He's going over it so quick. Bow, a wish oh, no. with a sword is my okay, there's backup. a frame I can pause it on later. <laughs> yeah. Boards, bows and swords. Boards and swords. <laughs> All right. So I got this uh, Better Devils. It's uh, got a pretty pretty good roll on Kill it. Kill clip. Out pretty good. Kill clip. Ooh, out. It was quick. Uh, I'm going to be running the uh, Badlander shotgun in my second slide. Slide shot. And I got this uh, mm. two-tailed fox you might recognize mm -hmm. from a little video we showed out. Shooting the two rockets. Hey Cosmo, I noticed that you're running Icarus mm. on your. There's one frame uh, for me to look at later. Give I'm gonna go down. I know that's the pause frame. Right. Yeah, so I got the uh, the Icarus. So as you can see, uh, when I jump, that uh, that aimer stays pretty tight, right? It's Actually, it gets tight. smaller when he jumps. Yep. Well, that's well, you know, you know, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> the perfect tool still needs to be in the hands of the right person. Wow. <laughs> you were I, got I got it. 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 Go death blossom, Cosmo. Go death blossom. There we go. Is there a better Cosmo that drops? <laughs> wow. All right. All right. They disrespectful right there, Cosmo. Are we ready to fight? I think we're ready to fight. All right, then game on. To your corners. Oh, oh no, that's not. Oh, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> All right, we are in combat. Uh, our combatants are muted. We're going to listen to uh, the designers. And uh, gentlemen, when uh, when you see a product Damn, of your labor, fast. something you're proud that's of, something fast. you're excited about, uh, let's call it out. This is why we're fighting today, oh, is to understand I'm how you two will change the way we fight. That's a long range. Fight. That's, that's, long range. Yeah. 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 that's going to be an issue. I mean, it's right. going to be new better. But you don't know. Yeah, it's actually a jump to an archery range. 
Yeah, yeah. To learn about the mechanics of bows. That, that, that's the really crazy call that the player, didn't you? They, well, they did. I was out that day. Uh, I'm still <laughs> grumpy about it. Yeah, well. Yeah, I chose tacos instead. I'll just wow. check through walls. Tacos nope, nobody's there. there. Ooh, that's gonna be this is one of the new, new maps as well. Yes, we're calling out. Oof. Oh, we got timing. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. What yeah. happened to him? It happened so fast. He tried to use spectral blades, but he I blinked. Yeah. So did he. He got murked. It's a very interesting hand cannon that uh, Giannis is using right now. Ooh, nice play. So, precision, uh, <laughs> precision <laughs> family <laughs> hand cannon. Is that the Devil's Hound? Hey, yeah, or the Luna's Hound. Did we increase uh, respawn? Oh, you're private mm. matching. Okay. Yeah. He's not mic'd also. He heavy so, spawns on that yeah, little so thing. Yeah, so he said it was a private Interesting. Match. Didn't pick up on it. So we uh, changed the respawn in our private match to keep you the emphasis on that action. Okay. That's that what I'm saying. Waiting to come back to life. One like of the things, like one of the through, kind of through. the things we're talking about, you know, it's you touch one thing, it all breaks mm -hmm. and it all changes. Uh, and I know we oh we play God. with various. <laughs> 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 one of them. We play with various one. One. sometimes as well. Mm -hmm. and Kevin can tell us in a little bit where we ended up, but mm -hmm. it, it was one of the things that you're like, oh, when you do this, that also means you know the the speed at which you can take control points might have to change. The speed at which yeah. you respawn might have to change. Right? Uh, Look at that mm. earlier there. Uh, was, uh, nice bow work. Arc fighter melee Ooh, attack. There. Man, that bow. That was a problem. See if that target got there away. Is, I wow. Is. Is. You're going to pursue? Oh, it's two of them now. Some that's a great that's that. That. Oh, Ooh. that's going to break Ball PvP. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that that is. is also just as important. All about player feedback, right? <laughs> it's exciting, it though. Said right? that, uh, Whoa, there's Thunder Crash. Did he get another one? Oh, he got two! Well, it's Thunder Kevin Crash. could have killed him before he did it. Yeah, we yep. seen it. Oh, that was the... I think that was the... Missile Super. Zero? I'd have to guess. Oh, okay. oh, where's the Icarus? Get Icarus on that. Dude, hand cannon's gonna be lethal. Hand you just gotta join me on PC, bad. man. They're even better here. Because you can yeah, see yeah, everybody's yeah. dropping hand special ammo. Because bad. one of the, the way we're, we're handling special ammo is you spawn with, and when you die, you That's drop it. That's searching through walls. Of course, you spawn back with it. I don't it. know so how many walls. You see, they say when you die, you drop it. Kevin's not picking that up because he's not running Kevin's not running special, so he doesn't have a use for it. They're just holding hands. Yeah, but his just, teammates do. They're just gazing against change. that guy. His Ooh. teammates can come yeah, with that. Yeah, that's yeah, the You can literally lead yeah, him walking around the corner and just not, not even have a clip. Oh, 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 he, he didn't see that. Didn't tell him about that rocket. The wish ender did not tell him that someone's about to shoot a rocket at you. Yep, the wish was ended, that's for sure. Time to dust out those hand cannons in the ball. Can't go through. Oh, oh, sniper. Oh. Sniper, yeah. oh. So you gotta start watching lanes for those again. <laughs> yeah, those are yeah, gonna be around. Almost guaranteed to have it. Sniper's yeah. back, yeah. Sniper's gonna be back. Yeah, it's definitely uh, gonna we, be like we keep finding a high risk, high reward. <laughs> if you've got a couple headshots, but you still gotta follow through and pick up that ammo if you wanna keep it. Especially with them being jumped out of the uh, heavy spot to uh, uh, energy. To help, you know, yeah. Make you able to Follow through how well. Yeah, one of the one of the big changes that we're, we're happy with with this ammo model is because mm. there aren't crates for them in the world, and because they drop on the on the corpses of, walls so of your enemies. It means if you just randomly snipe into a crowd, mm -hmm. you just produce more special ammo for his buddies, and or made it extremely hard for you to go get. And so, thinking about what you're doing matters a lot more. Uh, Kevin ran into a rift earlier, so it was a good uh, segue there. So we also uh, touched, oh. we, we bumped up the healing. Oh, oh, oh a good battle. Nice. So, so like, a couple of cool things just happened there. So he just procced uh, Flawless Execution, which is uh, one of the new Night Stalker perks that lets you go invisible um, when you get a so headshot kill. kill while crouching. And then while you're invisible in that state, you'll actually build a see targets behind walls mm. as well. And now he's using mm. Pressure Blade to destroy this team that was trying to How turtle on a, on a healing area put down by the dawn blade mm -hmm. but There's they were able to mount a resistance there mm -hmm. i mean usually if somebody runs into a room with a super it's like we're all dead yep yeah so there's a good yeah. pushback there the dawn blade heal is extremely good it's extremely so... effective and it also buffs your damage as well so they were oh. able to push back and oh, holy that crap super? <laughs> that thunder crash has got yeah, three kills like... so thunder crash i like this the name pretty intense That's here cool. so cool. the other thing uh yeah so healing rift came up just basic healing rift is now 
um, a little bit more effective and had to and, be right. Yeah, to definitely nice. to help give it some more. Uh, it takes too long to get up the high pace of combat now. And the other thing is empowering rift also got buffed. Nice. So that used to uh, not buff your precision damage, but now yeah. will also buff your precision damage. Oh, cool! I like so that. Basically, it's gonna it's gonna keep up with this new lethality. Because in a you, way got, that you have to make it even more rift lethal more attractive. than yeah. before. Now, one of the things we haven't talked about, but armor also receives random rolls. Uh, armor. So there are random rolls oh. on armor. Additionally, there are of course mods that go into your armor. Um, oh. There are some new and some that you. Uh, used to from year one, including the ability uh, regeneration speeds and things, those oh, have yeah. also all been buffed because for the same reason, um, okay. you can take yeah. five now as well. So all the rules have been removed. There's no like, hey, well, put this on when you're wearing blue pants on the morning of August 5th. It's just, <laughs> this increases your grenade regeneration speed. Yeah, flat out. And you can, you can push it all the way up to five to give you, uh, I believe we settled on a... I, I will say at least a 60%. I think we settled on higher than Ooh, that. That's a big deal. Not even uh, bad. And <laughs> you can level it up. I, I, I like. I mean, you are, 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 are you, are you if you stack all the way up, it's I'm a higher boost than you can yeah. get in uh, with D1. Oh, man, uh, no, no, man. One, this is a big and then deal. as well as I think if you if you just run four of them, you get the same as uh, yeah. oh, that bow. You got to respect the character. If you if you pick all the names in the red hands, it is going to be scary. It's going to be scary. There you go. Fasting. That hand cannon. Wow. Whoa. Getting some. Uh, no. It looks like the on the yes. opposing team right now. There's a lot of. Over and this was the heavy. I think the heavy frame. Oh, this, the I didn't John say. Blade, do you think? No, that just, seems fast for. Or, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's no, not a dire fast. That's, that's, that's somewhat quicker. <laughs> or you that's basically convert yeah. your grenade into a grenade that can actually heal your allies and give them an overshield as well. So how do you do that? So you hold whatever your grenade button is. So that's left bumper for default. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll convert your grenade pretty quickly into oh. a healing grenade. Oh, nice. And then there was Blade Barrage. Blah, blah, blah. So that's the new Solar Hunter super. Uh, you basically flip into the air and destroy anything in your sight with a series, a volley of explosive knives. It's for uh, the Golden Gunner who is tired of aiming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I will say the drawback speed though, like you can't, if yeah, you miss you like, yeah. you miss a shot but on that bow, you are kind of screwed. So it's yeah, 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 it still requires yeah, precision. Like it, it's but so, in the right nice hands, combo. oh my god, I'm screwed. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> oh, you know oh, where at. oh man, and someone was saved there by a healing uh, area put down by the Dawn Blade. They've taken the lead. You could well of radiance. Well, blast barrage got two of them with the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that thunder strike thing. Or the... <laughs> Everyone's getting a lot of information from that. It both sounds crisp, too. Yeah, do we know sounds, yeah. what mod Kevin put on the wish list? Do you make the attention to that? I do uh, uh, I would get worked on every single guy. And here's a Spectre Blade <laughs> that comes right at him. Oof. Barely escaped. Nope, not for long, though. <laughs> What's the inference there? Exotic weapons have set perk sets. Yes, they they do not have the ability to slot a mod. Right. They are fixed roll. Yes. 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 Exotic yes. weapons are extremely powerful and uh, very specifically curated by y'all. Mm. So if you, if you haven't picked up on it yet, it looks like Kevin's loadout here is, is formed all around gaining information. So yeah, he's using a sword to peek a little bit, and so same with some emotes. Um, he's using Wishfinder to get guys Oof. behind walls, but also and the Night Stalker. Mm. Mm. And, mm. I don't want to play against uh, the Night Stalker. Super not. Spectral Blades. Yeah, he beast um, him. You go invisible. You can actually see guys behind walls the entire time as well. Wow, hunters! Oh, okay, you need to be alive to just do that. Yeah. Work, um, so that's being invisible helps <laughs> yeah. you stay alive. Yes, yeah. So there's so. a lot more super counterplay now that mm -hmm. shotguns and snipers are walking around. Yeah, but I think with, with special blades, you get a lot of uh, options where you can basically you can go into stealth. Your super doesn't drain as fast, and you can see guys behind walls, which lets you pick your targets a little bit more carefully. Yeah. So if you're if you're a little better than Kevin is, you'll go <laughs> oh, around wow. walls, you'll go around corners, you'll you'll pick your targets a little more carefully. You don't have to throw yourself. You don't have to just fight. throw yourself onto a shotgun. It's a choice. <laughs> are, are you a little bit better than Kevin is? I like to take my time. <laughs> <laughs> really? Wow! I, 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 it only takes a yeah, it's it's true. True. yeah. He's only, you're in the we're in the cheap seats He's right so now, my friend. Yeah, you're going to pay for that and test. I'm sure. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I think it's just Kevin killing mocked. you and then saying, "Take your time, Claude. <laughs> Take, your Take, your time. Your time. Take your time. Take your time." Ooh, better crash! Oh, oh my God. Crash. through the barricade. Well done. Well done. Yeah. So, thunder crash. You can steer quite heavily, um, and basically, 
It looks like whoever was using that has learned how to pilot quite well. Eight if you could like start it and pilot around the wall and fly above and then just come down and that's just a guided missile oh, in the middle one. here. Oh, but he got Basically. killed right yeah. before he actually even landed the detonation. This is when we first started talking about the bow, you had said that well, giant in a skill game gaps full here of go. space magic and machine guns, the bow might seem archaic, yep. but it's a patience weapon. It's it a is. precision weapon, and we're seeing, uh, despite the editorial commentary from Claude, we're seeing a lot of really good, patient, precise work in uh, the hands of Mr. Giannis here with that. That's certainly not the way I fight, but I can tell that uh, yeah. this type You're of weapon the in the hands Man. of somebody who's good with it is going to give me fits. We've also seen, yeah. I mean, people play it as a battle run with it as well where you like heaven actually has the loadout to do that um effectively where you run in you go for the the single shot headshot with the bow and then you quick swap with you know something like mm -hmm. lucky pants for example to pull out a hand cannon real fast and mm. gut them before they can continue to move <laughs> what was that which, which did you say lucky pants? lucky pants okay. yeah. is that that's a shipping it. name or is that one of our no, developer that is, code names no that is a that is a exotic, year one yeah. you would know if you're one i wouldn't as a year one no. exotic okay. pant if you will yes. for the for the pants. hunter okay that helps with with the use of hand cannons yeah i like to run bows with really fast draw time and put icarus on that so i can actually pull that kind of move off mid-air nice. get a cut shot and then slip to like an smp love the icarus is back in. so you can still play warrior mode with a bow, uh, just gotta find the right stats. Ooh. Also, oh my goodness. Goodness, <laughs> juicy. And there are some, uh, there are some pretty yeah. incredible exotic armor pieces mm -hmm. that go along with the bows as well that you can oh, pull off. Man, did that drag Ooh. shot? Pretty, pretty, mm -hmm. pretty cool. He's like stuff. a master at that. Yeah, there's so much like That's that a destiny thing with the core sandbox that makes yep. the old exotics also really wow. interesting and relevant again in yep. a way that's really exciting. Um, in particular, yeah, I know, uh, with Shoulder Charge, for instance, uh, stand asides are also now really, really amazing to think yep. about uh, using because they'll yep. give you an overshield that's going to help protect you as you come in for that one hit kill. And the card. Knives for days. Knives Ooh, for days. Yeah, yep. yeah stand asides um, finally make some the, sense. Uh, mm -hmm. Sun bracers um, are really good with Ooh, want that the gun. new healing grenade setup for the Dawn Blade. Hello. I like how that stands. Um, mm -hmm. so uh, like Starfire Protocol. Nice. What have we been using with uh, Thunder Crash? I'm trying to remember what the, what Nuke's favorite loadout is. Oh, what uh, is it's the pants, oh. right? Oh, oh, the uh, the Anateus wards. Yes. Uh, or slide reflect legs. So yeah, pants. Yeah. <laughs> so you slide, slide reflect pants. where yeah. you put uh, you put the increased one of the mm -hmm. new armor mods that we brought mm -hmm. back, uh, new old mar armor mods. You put the increased turning while sprinting mm -hmm. mod on. So you're super agile. Mm -hmm. You can reflect. And then boom, here we go. Oh! Oh! Well done, well done. Nice. That you're going to reflect long incoming fire mm -hmm. as you slide. That's you can get good. to a point and then you, pretty quick. You know, you're always punching this Titan builds are talking about Yeah, sick. so right now uh, he's got um, the ballistic strike charge. And so every time he's in the air, he's going to have the ability yeah, to that's hit the one. his melee button and basically do. Uh, a miniature version Ooh. of Death from Above at any time and aim at any target. Uh, and that one doesn't one shot kill. So we, we made some yeah. interesting choices there where, like, really? a shoulder charge is a little bit more risky. You have to get really close and you're, you're sacrificing your positioning a lot more um, to even get to be able to pull it off. Mm -hmm. Whereas the ballistic strike you can do from shotguns. the skies where no one knows where it's coming from. I can't wait to use shotguns <laughs> more frequently again in Destiny, I gotta yeah. tell you. And I shotguns love the way they combo. sound in D2. Yep. So a yeah. uh, couple of observations. Uh, this has been a really good even match. You know, yeah, we haven't has, had one team good. run away with this. Uh, observations from chat right now. Um, every hunter in chat is shaming me brutally for not knowing what Lucky Pants is. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, guilty, guilty as charged. Uh, you know, I have tunnel vision for my own ways. Um, a, a freshly arrived Dr. Lupo is asking if it's good, and uh, they're telling them that so far, Looks like so you guys. Far. So far, looks yeah. like you guys did a good job, and uh, people want to see what Cosmo's yeah. doing. <laughs> so I can tell you that uh, within two kills here, uh, we're going to switch, switch the view up. here to uh, Mr. Cosmo twenty three, and we will see how he fares in battle. But yeah. in between oh. this Whoa, match exactly. and the next, we're actually going to uh, let people uh, change up their loadouts a little bit and let you see uh, a different way to play. And so, as you'll notice on this, uh, every time, well. Every time he died and came back, he was always coming back with uh, two shotgun rounds. There we go. Mm -hmm. And we are at game with a nice eight kill spread. Pretty interesting. Uh, widening Ooh. the skill Pretty gap, but uh, still a good close match, yep. yeah? That was tight. So, uh, well fought to our in-studio combatants, and thank you very much. Uh, let's take a look at uh, our brave fighters.
And uh, gentlemen, good game. Thank you so much for playing. Thanks. How do you want to uh, configure your guardians for uh, the second round of Clash? Hmm. I think I'm gonna switch off to the uh, switch off of the bow. Go for a bygones sniper loadout here, and I'm going to run the projectile. Yourself. Any I any mind see changes? The perk trees, I've people. already uh, pre-socketed, uh, so I oh, no. am going uh, with, in with uh, enhanced target acquisition for my sniper and my uh, pulse rifle. Oh, oh double oh, oh, Actually, that's you. a perfect loadout for you because you were having trouble hitting things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least I hit my golden guns. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh. Do you? Well, for those who like to take their time, golden gun now has more time. That's right. You. I like to take my time. Yeah. Probably hurried up though. <laughs> and then Cosmo, what are we going to see from you in the next fight? Shout I'm going to go crazy. Jay Wolf and Chill. Oh, I'm going to go oh, oh, crazy shotgun, Badlander shotgun, and Legend of Acreus. Wow. So uh, a triple shotgun loadout. Talk to oh, us a little crazy. bit about your shotgun mods and your shotgun perks. How are each of these shotguns going to be uh, behaving differently in combat? Uh, so on the first shotgun, oh, so you can I'm going to apply a backup it. mag. I'm going to guess you. Once you're already knocked out, it's like on the fly mm -hmm. without maybe without any cost. Uh, no, one. I think you'll have to just uh, to get a little cost. Radar. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Radar tuner. Get mm -hmm. my radar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this guy's going crazy over Acris, but Acris is an exotic, pretty so good. As you can tell. <laughs> it's already pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, we ready to go? We uh, are go for long. Because I have one request: when you get in, can you show the difference in the radar speeds between your two shotguns? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, I want to see how that. This will be our effect. final four v four exhibition on this stream. We appreciate everybody who's sounding off in chat. Uh, those of you who are subscribing, uh, please know that every subscription to our chat uh, on our Twitch channel uh, benefits the Bungie Foundation. So we're not monetizing the feedback loop as much as we are, uh, I don't know, consider it an internet I just want to some machine yeah, gun something, to, something to throttle the uh, waterfall of feedback. So that from targeting. And the Twitch Prime, was. Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime. <laughs> that wasn't a sales pitch. That was just us letting you know that we're taking your money and putting it to a good use. Uh, uh, this is how uh, running an interesting yeah, what's that? There too, where no idea. Basically stacked all melee recharge mods because he really wants to use Ballistic Slam a lot. <laughs> which is the <laughs> melee ability for the new third path of a uh, striker. Oh, oh, oh. Also, it looks like he's actually doing that for the throwing hammer. Where he do you wants pick to your super? Throw some hammers at people's faces. All Don't right. you just pick your tree. Choice. Tell us a fun fact about the throwing right. hammer. Uh, tree. Let's see. I don't know. I like to say... Yes, they're just adding a tree, and, and it just... It's just, just adding. Yeah. <laughs> cool facts, you like, I like this, uh, <laughs> On the screen here, I like that the Ace of Spades pointing right at Claude's Jake like this. <laughs> wow. Right there. He's that. <laughs> I don't know if this is helping. <laughs> no, no, you're pretty much in the line of fire the whole time. Sorry, Claude. Ignore that, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's safe. We're in a safe place. Sniper rifle reserves. Mm -hmm. Pulse rifle pulse targeting. Right, thanks again for all those subs. Orders. We're going to... Uh, we're going to take your uh, hard-earned money and uh, we're going to put it toward easing the stress... The distress and suffering of children in hospitals. We put iPads in their hands. Uh, you know, we give them the healing power of video games when they need it the most. Uh, and on the subject of healing power, they're going to need it right now as we come back into our final round of Clash. Let's do the radar check. Radar check. Radar check. Radar check. So that's Ooh, the... that's spiffy. Ooh. 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 Is it? And then choices. back with the mod? Choices Choices matter. Yep. Oh, just how quick also, it comes back, I guess. Yeah, you guys how quick it, it comes back, yeah. Up. yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a bad throw. Oh, but you got it back. You're all good. Yeah, but he didn't say bonk. <laughs> yeah, he didn't, he didn't hit anyone. <laughs> oh, Save yeah. the bonk for when you hit someone. Got to make a sound for the bonk. I want to Got to make a sound for the radar. Oh, oh, oh uh, come on. Go kill him and get the hammer back. Yeah. So the way that works, too, is um, after <laughs> about six seconds, your hammer is going to explode. And so if you, you have about six seconds to pick it up. So he just waits oh, for it. Okay. But it's okay because he used a bunch of melee mods to get his uh, recharge back. And his buddy saved his life and he was able to pick up green mm -hmm. ammo. So now he's got something going. Yes. He's got enough ammo that he should probably reload. There you go. He has like four bullets, now by the now way. he's got something yeah. that he can work with. This is ridiculous. Uh, there's an incendiary grenade. We, we did give that a little wow. bit of a damage buff. Wow. Wow, he did How nothing there. It's the curse of being on screen. <laughs> yeah. On, on screen, I believe that people can't aim anymore. The pressure. Uh, 
pressure. So on the top of yeah, the grenades, a handful of I do anything with what somebody looking well, at me, I'm so, terrible. Yeah, incendiary yeah, is one of them. Uh, Fusion so also got buffed. All those stickies came up. Except Ninja. Bit, he just Kevin wins. Kevin <laughs> needs beating. And it's something that we continue to, uh, we'll obviously continue to, to look at in the future, mm -hmm. right? This isn't a, a one and done. The we'll job's never done. Boom! Oh, yeah, there you go. Well, well, accurate. She's going to be accurate. Still come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh. There you go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah, there you go. You don't want to lose that. Hold on to that. Hold on to that hammer. Mm -hmm. He did use his third shotgun to success. And there's more. And now accuracy. he's got more ammo. Now he's fully loaded. He's got Damn. all the shotguns. Mm. This That's is where he dies. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be. <laughs> people are gonna make these builds annoying. So many shotguns. Three shotguns. Oh so yeah, they'll just do it to, tro to troll yeah. people. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Uh oh! He's got the high ground, Anakin. <laughs> there you go. That yeah, thing is. We agreed. No prequel Act memes on the screen. No prequel. We agreed. I was like, you didn't come to the No prequel memes on street. You're in the wrong hands. This is going like to be scary. Shotgun, huh? <laughs> yeah. In my hands, I would be awful. In the right hands, mm -hmm. people are just going to mm -hmm. make it look like Maybe special and be like, oh, I, w I can totally run that. No, no, you can't. Mm -hmm. Don't even try. There you go. Uh, he's going he's to chase for a while here. Get, oh. get him. Get him. him. Oh, 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 oh so, so close. close. Yes, mm. it's there's that, the, now the hammer loses its parent. Yeah, so, yeah, so the hammer's hammer. gone. We All lost right. it. You had now mentioned that this is a loadout for someone you know, in your Developer Insights video, if you're crazy, right? Yeah. This is a crazy loadout. But... Let's make this up. <laughs> this is not bad. <laughs> There's got to be some moments in combat. Effective. Like, if we just wanted I mean, to say, Cosmo, you stay inside. Control, you guard that heavy ammo. Yeah. You know I mean? He's mm -hmm. all close like quarters. He's, defense, he's a brawler. He's a bruiser right you need a right. So we're not showing it today, but we're showing a bunch of it. Like, Gambit, I think, is... For me, is honestly the best... Yes, yeah, that was very the close. Destiny sandbox. It does everything, right? Sure. You have your PvE play, you have your PvP play, you yep. have your objective play, um, you have yeah, your I like, know how this build point play. Like, it has everything. PvP. So, PvE. in Gambit, where you have your whole team, like picking yeah, the loadouts uh, to suit your job, I think is going to be a, a huge deal. And there yeah. is absolutely a place for for Cosmo's crazy three shotgun build when you are trying to keep blockers away from the points. Uh, and things like that, and gambit, and so like all these, yeah, gambit, all these things have roles actually. and times to use them, and you know, I, there will be people who run this in PvP and do yeah, just fine him. with it. Sure. Cosmo's not one there of them, go. right? But like, <laughs> but there will be Cosmo's people who can pull it off. It's Cosmo's Cosmo's a deep so point. Rash. Strategically, you can arrange your team to have a really Sorry, specific loadout. Sorry, if you guys are listening to the video, those little bings, I'm apologizing. Right, you can say like, yeah, like we're gonna have the triple shotgun guy defend the bomb or whatever. So if they rush it, they have to deal with that. There's a lot of ways to make that. He's really wow, he still got that off from that He's not exactly one of them. Um, <laughs> but I think he's learning. It's a, he, he's showing <laughs> us the whatnot, which I think is moment. also helpful, mm -hmm. right? Like, hey, don't do this. Don't so, do that. So no pressure. Your super is ready. It's not like there are a lot of people watching. Um, <laughs> Yo, Claude, be low key. This, yeah. <laughs> you be he's going in. Not just a demonstration of combat oh, in year two, but also a demonstration of the bungee playtest culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not a kind thing. No, it's not. It's We're... not. Well, you did good, too. You should yeah. feel good about yeah. the fact that you tried really hard oh, to play test oh. today. It, there's hey, yeah. it's taking out a spectrum horrible blades. level of shame. Yeah. Taking out spectrum you blades. You either don't get shamed or Oh, no, he's stuck. Oh. Get out of there. Okay. He's behind the cabal ball. Get the slam off. Yeah. Come on! There we go. There's one. Get another. Get him. Oh, he ran out. No, you know, he just wants to swing. Oh, still with the shotgun. Still with the shotty. He had a good... That's a good time. Pretty shotty. Oh, he's taking the time to emote. As which got him killed. As it should. Lessons hubris. Yeah, hubris. Pride cometh right before the fall. Yeah, so the way... uh that super works too. Is you have your right trigger attack is basically a ground a ground slam that sends off a stream of fire, and that'll that'll actually find guys. You know what we should have done? Is that mm -hmm. a tornado? Yeah. Oh, wait, there's a tornado. <laughs> oh, well, then it's perfect. Yeah, we, we we wanted to take it over the top. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, oh. to be explicit about it, if you run a single. Uh, special loadout, you get two rounds per spawn when you load in. Mm -hmm. And if you run a dual special loadout, you get one in each. Um, so the same number of spawning, same amount of spawning ammo. Mm -hmm. um, oh man, that Ooh. was not the corner to run around. No. And he that, didn't have those Kevin Yannis right. uh, looking around the corners. That's right. 
that ammo he was talking about, um, that's also per archetype. So for a shotgun, you'll get two rounds. Um, but for oh, you could destroy it. Like uh, wow. No, it's still two. What? Yeah. I mean, it ought to. Well, that looks oh, like really? a blade. Okay, um, that. Still two shots. Stuff. It's worth two kills. The only thing that is oh. different is trace rifles. Oh, oh and he just shot uh, back up the gate. And yeah, he destroyed it. Trace rifles. That energy. That's the super uh, Because that's about two kills. Mm -hmm. Seems like a good time. I buffed it to 40. You buffed it to 40? Yeah. Must have that email. <laughs> Just saw a comment Oof. in chat saying uh, they're seeing a lot of melee kills, not seeing a whole bunch from grenades. Are grenades inherently different in year two? So we did buff grenades, but the nature of grenades uh, is a lot of times is that they're an opener. And so I think that's what we're seeing a lot of times here is that people are using them to open fights or to sort of supplement their gameplay. But yeah, yeah. Um, what we yeah. didn't do is make them. One one shot kills. Yeah, like we didn't yeah, we, we didn't roll back to where you can just rely on a grenade mm -hmm. to clean up. Like you have to play with your grenade right. um, to make it effective. And so Fusions it is a tool. come up quite a bit, but they're not back to one shot kills. Yep. They're not back to the reason why I wore Void Fang vestments for three years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that's stuff. Man, that's Boy. not bad when I finally Boom. took it off. <laughs> You gotta watch it, man. I, I, oh, oh, there's the other side. Man, that's what yeah, we call yeah, reaction own, time problem. medicine. <laughs> reaction time is a factor, so please pay attention. Yeah, as he goes All right, he's, he's, he's <laughs> abandoning, uh, he's oh, abandoning yeah, he's the still, three shot, still, three shotgun build. Yep, yeah, still sticking with dual, dual special. Cosmo's tired of being crazy. Mm -hmm. Still crazy. Still crazy. He's a little bit it's less of a crazy to load out, but still. He at least well. has a has a range alteration that he can do. All right, there's this, there's this there special. So that mechanic Ready. of special Ready. dropping right. from a corpse How's is this definitely going to change Probably the game. Probably poorly. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like this is actually somewhat of a viable loadout. You no, know. the loadout's fine. Oh, yeah. It's Cosmo. Oh, of cool. course. Yeah. <laughs> Man, they are ruthless. Uh, I'd like to call out that uh, you know this isn't in development build, so you're seeing under the radar screen, you're seeing uh, some text strings that are obviously not final. So uh, that's what we see in development before we're finished, and it's not September 4th yet, so pardon our dust. It is coming up quickly. Yeah, we are less than one month. From the beginning of Forsaken, mm -hmm. and even closer to the arrival of these changes. That's right. I mean, the things that we're looking at right now—not these weapons, not this map, but not the mod. The sandbox changes. Oh, there's a heal grenade. Woo! So mm. that floating orb there was uh, an enemy throwing down a heal grenade. That mm. Oh, that's how the heal grenade works. Gotcha. So when you see one of those on the opposing team, you can actually still destroy them. Mm. Oh, so he destroyed a healing grenade. I realized there because he could have oh. saved himself from okay. having to heal Save yourself! A lot yeah. of guys with over shields. Yeah. <laughs> so, this elevator that they're standing right near, uh, if you're underneath that thing when it comes down, does it kill you? It does not. It stops. <laughs> it stops. Which yeah, is yeah. a yeah. problem. Yeah. There were a lot of fatalities at yeah. this work area <laughs> before they implemented that. Yeah. Days since accident. <laughs> <laughs> Always like one bullet, though, man. You're going to have to stay alive to be using mm -hmm. your super much. On, oh, Cosmo. there's an arc staff for fucking Come on, Cosmo. Cosmo. Keep yourself safe. Come on, Cosmo. Cosmo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 There's that shotgun. new melee. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so you gotta be careful. So so it's, uh, it's definitely yeah, two hit is a huge that changes the situation. That changes the matter big time. Guardians these days. Is that three fight you slapping? Gotta, you gotta pick your smoke your mouth. Yeah. I might not want to be Stormcaller anymore. Oh, Stormcaller will still fry some guys. Fry some Fry Mm. Like the name of fast food restaurant. <laughs> guys. What's the one? <laughs> Has he gotten a sniper kill yet? No. No. Mm. Uh, he's been walking around one for a while though. He's trying. Yeah. He does grab it. There you go. <laughs> well. Oh, well, you, you just missed him. He didn't hit with him. Yeah. Wow. Swinging a man. Wow. Yeah. Swinging up. Oh, no. <laughs> I appreciate that he was in basically the tightest part of the map and yeah. still managed to. He's miss going for the style drive. points. He loves the he loves the the, the, twirl. the spin. Yeah. Bang, bang. Hey, nice. He's the master. Oh, 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 I was gonna say snipers are back, oh, shotguns right. are back. We haven't even seen fusions running around anywhere. Another nice oh. uh, sort of downstream effect of the mod changes are that a lot of people are running. I would love to see grenade launchers. Makes the sort of timing huh. for when supers come in. I still don't know if I'll ever get on board with those. People, like, <laughs> sort of stacking mods and showing up early. It's funny is recently mods, I've actually gotten stagger. better. Super mods really being good one of the brand the new mods that we've added. Um, just never have really tried it. Much. Not as potent mm -hmm. as the other ability mods, but still, still really effective. Yeah, makes a big difference. Oh, 
I'm just watching the stream. <laughs> He's watching you. Behind you. Does he know there's a guy behind? No. Last second. Panic. Really. I was like, I saw that radar. We've all been there. Trust me, hindsight's 2020. Always. Why is my radar always? Oh. Why is my radar showing glowing red right? Boom. <laughs> Never mind. Boom. That's good to see. This match is almost sniper, but it's good to see. Uh, we have a moment here. It gives people variety. Us and they were on August 28th. Like no one would when use we them preload for mm -hmm. against the rocket. Uh, so. Every player yeah. of Destiny is going to notice some of these changes starting to take effect. Uh, the the weapon balance, the way that the, the, the new play tuning, the way the weapons August, behave will arrive. What else arrives? Mm -hmm. Are all these new mods going to show up? Mods will not be there yet. Okay, no, so uh, they come in central. with release. Uh, the slots will be there, good. but you'll just have nothing to put into. Yes, them. slots will. Yeah. No, we will. We have rearranged uh, your year one weapons as well, okay. so you will have stuff to put into them. Okay, uh, nice. slots will be there. Nice. Um, Greg Clunt. So we get some of the stuff to move yeah. around the right before. The for the, yeah, yeah, for the stuff that's going to be stuff. I like that. That's good. I like that. Give us the focus. Yeah, that's an acronym. We say all players. We also need PvE players as well. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these changes affect PvE. We have increased how effective shoulder charge is in PvE as well. Same with throwing knives and melee damage. Like on sniper rifle though, rally reload? That would be crucial. Yes. The final week of year one is going to be Time to uh, kill feels fast. A little weird it's because we're be going to have the new weapon slot to system show people up. Kicking none of my the butt. new weapons will have the new mod slot show <laughs> up. We ain't gonna be able to run mods. away no more. So we'll kind of no. ease into this. I actually got but pretty they'll good be able at to go out there and they'll be able to play with nope. the things that worked. they have. My kill, uh, they'll my be able to rearrange them in some new and interesting mm -hmm. combinations. Take your time. <laughs> hey, but I can punch people again and actually might balance it out. And see if there's a grenade kill. Questions. A couple yeah. grenade kills. Yeah. yeah, two. Back to back. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. See, I still think grenades don't do as much yeah, as they should. So at some point we're going to release like a tickle. They're not a kill. all the weapons that are... Yeah, but I kind of like it because possibly when it became too much of Billy's okay. fam, um, not enough gunplay, it will be that was my only weakness. Oh, uh, worth noting, going. I think you guys talked about this in the quad this week, but worth noting, whatever damage type you decide to live with... Uh, when Forsaken you launches, you will oh. stay. You will, oh, you will so continue close. to have. But wasted. I want to see the one So your energy weapons, when you mod them with deflects. your damage type now, choose wisely. Oh, so the you, Titan boots. You don't charge them, you no, no, the you Arc, the Hunter. That, that oh, the rotating one. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, so Maybe. those are... Yeah. are I don't uh, see anybody accountable. running that. You gotta yeah, let's we'll see what we'll do it. That was a three-shot burst, though. Mm-hmm. That pulse was pretty nasty. Burning Maul, that's the big fire. Mm -hmm. There fire. it is. Got yep. some fire tornado. Smashy. Oh, there's another friend down. Yeah, you do a fire right, tornado on us. There's storm trance. Yeah, there's storm trance. Damn, I'm gonna see. Damn. Future frying. Oh, never mind. He's dead. Also, it's like orbs yeah, give yeah. a lot Doesn't more super that. energy off the drop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was a range. giant orb. Oh, my God. oh man, Will sniping lanes. Yeah. Oh. There has been a sniper kill. <laughs> <laughs> Will we ever see a one shot sniper yeah. kill? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody want to get a headshot, please? Red Jacks. <laughs> 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 yeah, I can't talk. I'm talent. awful with snipers. Mm -hmm. I have moments. I'm nowhere near special. I occasionally get a few pickoffs, but I know the lanes well. Like the. um... I wanted to see that sword do some work. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, yeah. one yeah. little bag. Ah. Oh, oh man, that's that was. That Time there. to kill is up, of course. Yeah, definitely Bull. having snipers yeah. be up more often just makes things feel so much more dynamic again. Yeah, just like, yeah, like sniper lanes, lanes are going to be turkey. Like you can't things. run them. Mm -hmm. Greg, exciting. Holding the points. Like, that's the thing about snipers. Too, right? They can yeah. hold yeah. a whole lane on their own and be scary. And oh, now yeah, this really also is going to oh, counter yeah. people, <clears throat> my boy, kind of nice that, that complain uh, about graviton and, and vigilance like because of the range and holding out. The sniper is back and you really see it to now. hold those lanes down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. React. yeah, that's huge. Oh, Ooh, there's one. I traded him finally. Are you going to observe that sniper kill? Or are you only going to talk about Cosmo when he does it? I didn't see it. Well, there you go. Basically, didn't have it. Must be a target. The whole God. drag sniper thing. That's not just how I play. <laughs> yeah. I've never been that type of sniper. I like, oh, ouch. What? I want to be Whoa. on and fire. I'm not going to do the drag and fire. Right. And that's yeah, where I I'll lose. <laughs> be a oh, there we go. A lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think drag I'm going to see a shoulder oh, charge. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Stay Show us a shoulder charge kill. 
He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I believe. Show us that crispy recap too. Not it. I believe. He's gonna. He's gonna overshield. Oh, 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 look at that. That's a bad choice. Just yeah. So oh, they had the healing oh, grenade shield. There's some good counterplay there. Mm -hmm. the it's now a three-point game. It won't be. Yeah, and they swapped leads a couple times now. Yeah, so I think, you know, watching this, I hope that, I hope chat and the, those at home can get a sense for, like, imagine what it would look like if good players were playing. Right, right. <laughs> well, Only. there are still a lot of lingering questions. People want to see better devils in action a little bit more than they have. People want to see the warlock in action more than they have. Yeah, yeah, the devil. Warlock, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that actually, that's a good thing to talk about there, too. All the shoulder charge mechanics in D2 um, gain an... AOE with them as well. They have an explosion when you hit. The explosion oh, nice. doesn't one shot kill. Yep. Only the first guy you hit. Yep. But a so tag if you can show There's going to be a reason to keep more than one version of a weapon, yeah. obviously, mm -hmm. now. Uh, yep. The uh, collections will allow you to sort of look across your riches and understand which weapons that you have. But if you get a Snap weapon a that you love, if you think yep. it's a god roll or if you want to have oh, several oh, different iterations oh, of your race. favorite guns, we have 500 oh, total vault slots, slots now. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can get rid of most of my crap now. Too. And uh, the things that we're not demonstrating roles. on stream today, uh, you know, there's about 10 kills that remain in this exhibition match. Uh, you know, we're leaving for your discovery. You know, player discovery, understanding oh, how oh, he's doing it. these Jordan changes Hunter? impact yep. your own fighting style is an important Dude, part of Oh, he's doing so, it, yeah. Uh, we so try to set your expectations without completely giving away the whole shop. And uh, August 28th will be an interesting moment for people to kind of come out and say, here's how I play differently now. Oh, oh. And to your point, Josh, that will change over time. It'll yes. change September 4th. It'll change as people discover each other. It'll change as people react to the shifting meta. Start um, to figure out the mods they like and yeah. what they want to pair them with. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. There's just so much to think about now. All the yeah. new yeah. 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 Game within the game now, the meta is... Well, it's like, and you can have... I mean, there's going to be a meta, but I mean, there's a lot more variety to the meta. Rush. Oh, that's the healing... Mm -hmm. oh, dude, so yeah, that, that's a gonna, demonstration that's of just the healing power and the effectiveness of an opposing team's well of radiance. Can't just run in there and start punching guys. Yeah, that's, that's not going to pay off. No, yeah, you're not going to get through that rift. The normal rift, yes, yeah, that one. One last chance to show off your favorite moves. Oh, man, came in. That's not so good. Yeah. Don't forget to reload after your kill, it spades. Nice. The game is not shipped with Greg. Oh, pretty. <laughs> Friendly Greg pop up on the screen. <laughs> Don't forget to reload. Don't forget to reload. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is! There we go. Oh, I got it. That the echoes is of huge for me. Yeah, that's a huge deal. I just felt like you just didn't have it. I was like, my punches used to be solid, and now they felt so weak. And finally, still think that's a ball. Oh, <laughs> he messed up. That's Oops. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Get out of the way. Paid off. It might have paid off. I, I mean, mean yeah. yeah. <laughs> Being super charged oh my god! Yeah. Oh, 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 that was good. Denied. <laughs> and match complete. I love, the, I love the idea of like a super match guy complete. standing in an elevator, just like. <laughs> good game, everyone. <laughs> yep. Well fought, well yeah, played. Let's good go for game. a pause. No. Yeah, that was a lot to digest, man. A lot Seriously, to digest. So much. Um, it's gonna be fast. For Very sure. fast. Crucible. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious how this is all gonna carry over to. To what? PVE. Yes, we have to see that. There's, a, there's so many changes. We have to see how that affects PvP. I mean, time to kill across the board is so fast, and mm -hmm. it's definitely D one ish. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Like it's a moving. There's going to be a lot of balance in terms of things that you used to do at the start of D two that are not going to be. I can already see are not going to be as effective with this new meta, mm -hmm. and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, people are going to find out the most effective things. I ain't gonna lie, I'm, a, I'm still worried about that triple shotgun build, man. <laughs> like, really? I, I'm, I know PvP. I know guys that. Oh, I know that people oh. can mess with it, but I just like the fact that something that stupid is an option. No, no, I, it, obviously, yeah, absolutely. yeah. Not but that if I, I get want killed by it, I'm gonna I'm be like, just oh. terrified of that in the right hands. Like, <laughs> I'm that, terrified of snipers in all the right up. hands that are not mine. Oh, <laughs> that the whole match if someone is very good at closing distance and lurking in corners and still not on top of that like even though they're saying that you know 
the ammo you will deplete because you're kind of going through the same reserve. But now that they've added, you know, um, special drops on death, yep. that's just like literally getting power ammo all the time for a shotgun. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I mean, it's a way to keep it going though, which is yeah. kind of amazing. Yeah. You don't get much. So you've got to be in the mix or some way to grab it. So, I mean, sniping is going to be harder to continue to do, which is, you know, I guess fair mm. to a point. But, yeah, shotguns, man, those you'll if you get somebody Ooh. lethal with them, it'll be oh, running. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. So what's your thoughts of the of the meta that you've seen? Uh, I mean, three-tap pulse rifles, the hand cannons, oh. just like even the primaries are hitting solid, so, which is yeah. just they feel, they feel just a little crisper. That mm-hmm. bow is terrifying. Oh, it's scary as hell. Scary, oh, dude. Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't want even... to smoke with that bow. Oh, man. That, that thing. Can like, you imagine, damn. like, a competitive group of four all running with that? Oh. I mean, it's already going to basically two-shot you now. anyway. Oh, dude. Trials I are going to be. I can imagine. Trials, that thing's going to be required for information. <laughs> And that's yes. what he said. He had an information build. Sword for peeking around corners. The bow to look through walls. You just, mm-hmm. I mean, communication's huge anyway. If you have more info than the other team, then holy crap, that's and quite the advantage. On top of the Hunter new subclass, Wraith already going invisible. Remember oh, with that precision class. Kill. Precision kill. Oh. Going vi- that is going to be scare hunters i don't want to hear anything <laughs> anymore about complaints i i could already visualize some builds that are going to be sick oh man yeah this this is going to be interesting man yeah this is going to be interesting i but, mean uh, yeah. uh, what else i'm trying to think what else i saw the the supers all look cool they're looking unique uh yeah. we didn't see too many of the old ones most so of the new ones yeah. the titan missile is mm-hmm. oops, it's quicker than I thought it was from a third yes. when you're looking at them. Like when it looked as he was guiding it, it looked fairly slow before in the first mm. video. I feel like they sped it up because before it looked like almost a drone flying around, flying around. It felt yeah. slower. This one yes. feels like it's got a purpose. And like if I'm covering what is the stupid map from D1 that came over that has a Nessus theme to it? Yes, I know what you're talking about. And I it can't has think of the damn. The, the B point is uh, on a little like. Yeah, it's on this little platform kind of floating yes. out there. Yeah. I'm float down. I know like that one, platform. if you jump from the outside and you like jumped up in the air and then did your missile and just like came wow. down. Like, or if you could fly corners or mm-hmm. if you come from B, like get a big fly over the mountain towards A, for example, you just fly in the tunnel to A and just go bam. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I could see. Uh, yeah, I was like, there's a lot of there's a lot of options and I like the variety. And I think that's something this needed. If the mm-hmm. variety is relatively balanced which i know it's not all going to be perfect um, mm-hmm. but if it gives it's not just like the same six things coming at you right it's 18 different things that might be coming at you on top of snipers and fusion rifles we didn't even see one fusion rifle it's like that mm-hmm. one's still in progress but mm-hmm. i haven't seen fusion rifles they'll still work yeah no we cj seen loves those things <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. They lot. They lot. They saved out. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like again, I, I I know you laugh, but I really wanted to see grenade launchers. I really no, wanted to... the one like the, the special grenade launchers, like the single concussive. Yes, if you could put that on like a control point or something, and then switch over mm-hmm. to a kinetic, like with some three mm-hmm. triple taps or something, like you gonna it's gonna work. Mm-hmm. No, I mean I think. Oh. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm afraid to say, but I'm like, <laughs> is, he, I'm, is he finally I'm, there? I'm, is he I'm excited? excited? I've been excited for a while, man. I've been on the hype wait, train. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, let's get to the question for you. Right, this is the Ivantis question. Out of what we've seen, armor wise, how are you feeling? I need your 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 your, your feedback, so because I know that's on the armor, uh, it's definitely better because we finally saw a few perks in there we hadn't seen squat. Mm-hmm. So they had mm-hmm. sniper and sword ammo. Um, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to go back and just literally like mm-hmm. frame by frame a couple frame of those things it. just to see them. Mm-hmm. But I and like the talking fact about. I'm sorry, continue. I'm sorry. No, well, no. Go what you were gonna say. No, no. I was just doubling on your thought. Just as far as like, remember we also they they talked about with armor, you know, certain things to stack, recharge up to what is it, sixty percent? He said. Yeah, so the mods for like the melee, he said, was like 60%. So maybe if you went same mod on all five pieces, mm-hmm. you could have like 12% on each. 
Yeah, it, it, it's it's good. That's interesting. I didn't think I knew they would do something, but I thought, to be honest, I thought they were just going to simpl- simplify it like D one. Oh, you know, you know the basics that D one had. You know, faster melee speed, or you know, more ammo with shotguns when this is on. But it still seems a li- like just a tad step further. You know, I thought I thought that what I heard. I didn't think they would even do that. You know what I'm saying? Certain, certain things, especially with the uh, the recharge speed of grenades, melee, melee, and stuff like that. So that that to me was a pleasant surprise. Is it groundbreaking to the ultimate D2 stuff that we all we all wanted to have MMO sensibilities? No, but I didn't think they would even do this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, armor has some functionality here a little bit, you know. So that's why I was curious about you because I know this is a very sore subject with you, you know. Yeah, no, it's like from what I can see in little pieces, they're mm-hmm. getting back to D1, which mm-hmm. is kind of what we want. But I still mm-hmm. would like more of an evolution. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see set Correct. bonuses I'll never get, or at least I won't for a while. I know mm-hmm. that. I guess I've kind of accepted it. At least the fact that armor will have an effect now is good. So mm-hmm. is it just back to D1? It seems like it. Is it going to be anything substantially new? I don't know. Masterworked armor is a thing currently. They have not mentioned that at all. And exotic armor is not going to be masterworked, which is kind of aggravating. And I don't know why. So there are some pieces, like, they're so focused on the weapons, they haven't, like, completely done armor, I guess, is my feeling. So that's kind of me so far. Like, I like the fact that perks are going to be there. Because right mm-hmm. then, at least, it's like I look at like it, you know, two helmets, they're the same. Be like, oh, this is better. Dump my other one. Like, there's actually mm-hmm. a reason. It's not just like this is the same crap but over and over. So the roles right. I like are good. And there's two different set, two different roles, which kind of back to how it should be. So it's getting better. I just like to see them. I think this is back to D1. I'd like to see them continue to evolve it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's me, at least on that. Nice. What nice. about you? Yeah, but this is positive, you know, overall. This is positive. I mean, we've gotten... I still wish they slowed down on actually moving things around within weapon slots. Uh-huh. Like... I feel, I still feel like they didn't show the process. You know what I'm saying? They just, like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And it was so fast as far as, you know, between the primary ammo and the energy slash secondary ammo. I mean, weapon stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just wish, you know, just slow it down a little bit. They were in kind of, like... Testing dev mode, so they're just moving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fast, snappy. Fast, they fast, don't fast, be fast. like, so this is how yeah, this like, works. Slow it down they need the abundance the breakdown of the weapon slots. Yeah, like they they <laughs> were kind of quick on that. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. obviously know the functionality is there. I just would have been like the speed, you know, to slow down a little bit. But it's cool. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, this this is game changing. This is what a lot of the community has been clamoring for. So to see them do it, and like you said earlier, give because. It's almost like information overload, let's be honest, all this stuff. Oh, yeah. So I think which is a genius move is them releasing this part, the weapon stuff, before the release of Forsaken. This way, we, we kind of gradually get into it. We understand how the process is, you know, have that week or two or whatever it is to really, okay, this is how we play now, right? Because so, we, we've mentally been, you know, ingrained with the old, with the new, you know, the old new system, yeah. <laughs> so oh, to yeah. speak. Yeah. So, yeah, man. I mean, this, 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 this gonna be something. This is gonna, be, and we're gonna see the the meta is going to change. Oh, oh man. Probably oh. for a little while, then you'll have uh, Gambit stuff that's probably gonna have its own thing. But that's mm-hmm. the point of something cool about Gambit, and I half the time forget it's even coming because I don't. It's not like. It's mm-hmm. been out there for so long, it's not just, like, slammed in our face now. I have the yeah. time for, I forgot about it until he said it. I was like, oh, yeah, that shotgun building gambit to take out those main enemies, if that's your one purpose to keep the bank open, mm-hmm. you stand here. Yep. That's people it. Will have, yeah, people will have specific roles. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, with you put a warlock of- with that um, healing crazy super... And yeah. you get towards the end, and you're just in, like, Acreous mode, and they you launch mm-hmm. your Prime Evil, and you just go, bam, 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 bam. And yeah, I think yeah. that brings back, again, the big worry. It's like, the builds are crazy. I think the big worry about um, mm-hmm. Gambit is burning the bas- boss too fast. If the Prime yeah. Evil pops, and everybody just goes, Vroom, and it's yeah, dead balance, in, like, five seconds, then... Balance is going to be... I, I don't envy them on balance, because, no. like I said, there's going to be stuff that breaks the game. I'm just oh, telling you. Right? I mean... Picture, like, just back off and four people whisper it. 
Shit, it's yeah. over. Like think about whisper, a, a, a secondary sniper. I mean, somebody could just stay in the back. Like you said, there could be a person that can their role is just with the shotgun, stay in the front, defend this. This could be a person in the back, nothing but snipers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be so. You know, they definitely, they, they, they know, they know they've opened themselves up because they've even said it with some of the supers. Like, hey, this, we, we might think this might break the game. You know, I think they said that one about one of the early uh, reveals of the new supers. And they were talking about Warlocks, the the Kami Kami Ha one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They were like, yeah, this could break the game. So they're being ballsy. They're, 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 they're going for it. They're not, you know, they're going against typical Bungie MO, right? Which is, let's yeah. take it safe. Let's get the numbers. No, yeah, they're definitely let's throwing see. it all they're, out there. So you got to credit them for that. Like, that is something, at the end of the day, we've always complained. They're too conservative. Let's wait for the data. And then you don't get a patch for, like, maybe six months or something. You know what I mean? Like, yes. you know, four, four to six months, and you just, you know, like, okay, finally. You know what I mean? But this, woo! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be fast and furious, and people are going to be figuring things out, and it's exciting. It's, at the same time, it is still exciting to me, so. Interesting. I'm at 122.24. We're just finishing that? Yeah, we'll, we'll just finish probably. that out. I don't know what the last yeah. four minutes is. Probably just wrap up, so uh, let's go. Yeah, that is uh, all right. three. That's all we two, have today. Thanks one, so much, Cosmo go. and Kevin, for playing, guys. And uh, thank you so much Absolutely. to uh, these gentlemen for uh, the work that you've put into the game and for uh, taking a break from your honeymoon to join us today. And um, thanks for sitting in the seats and talking about what you do. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Hope everybody is super excited about what they're seeing. We're, we're very much looking very, forward to playing it. So, very excited. Uh, I hope you guys are too. Yep. And this was uh, definitely a stream that uh, they were very eager to do. You know, they yes. came to us and they said, we put a lot of work into the second year of Destiny 2. We've changed up time to kill. We've changed up weapon slots and ammunition and perks and mods and a lot of the things that the community has been talking to us for yep. some time. Uh, and uh, they were very eager to get out here on stream and to show you how this works. So thank you for watching, and uh, thank you for benefiting our charitable efforts Mm -hmm. with uh, your subs. And to summarize, we're giving you more ways to configure your Guardian so it's a reflection of how you want to fight. Uh, We're bringing back some of those hero moments. What else do we want to say about year three? Uh, Interesting drops to keep them the meta Mm -hmm. from going stale and keep things interesting for a long time. Okay, very good. Well, uh, some of these changes will arrive on October 28th mm-hmm. when we preload Forsaken. All players of Destiny August 2 can see how that stuff October. feels. Uh, the rest <laughs> of these changes arrive on uh, September 4th when Forsaken begins with a brand new adventure. Uh, we hope you'll join us for all of these things. Uh, in the meantime, we will see you at Gamescom. We'll see you at PAX. We may even see you right back here on stream. And good luck in mm. your triumphs. <laughs> Good luck with your triumphs. Yes, you still have uh, several weeks left in the Solstice of Heroes. So we see, hope we'll see you in the tower for uh, that Solstice. ongoing celebration with those new challenges, those new ways to decorate yourself. That's all we have to say today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Thanks so Thanks much for everybody. watching. That's all we got. Is this a longer clip? Yeah, see, yeah, they probably do one more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the old one. The old one. All right, we can close it out yeah we close it all right so yeah man <sighs> and I, I also want to say one thing too um yeah. i i gotta give them a little credit with the mods you know i i like i like the direction you know i'm not gonna say it's perfect it's you know we gotta we have to play but um i, I was impressed I, w- I was impressed with certain things. You know, I didn't think, because one thing we always gave them credit, I mean, always killed them in D1 is that one, perks were uninteresting. There were just certain perks that were uh, out, way outclassed others, right? Yeah. So when I saw a perk, for a guy like me to see a perk like a range finder back, when I know, like, that was one of their fears, because people used to go for that role. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Range. So now to see these combinations come back, and then. Let's, I mean, again, this is my. I don't want to know how you feel about it, but with the mods, there seemed to be a lot of variety. There seemed to be a lot of variety based on PVE versus P- PVP play styles. I didn't see like stuff like, you know, crouch and you know those whack perks where you just like. Yeah, oh. I mean, they weren't wasted, but I would say variety wise for mods that you pick. Now, perks versus mods, mods that you pick, there looked mm-hmm. to be about eight, nine, maybe. So there didn't yeah. look to be a ton. But the right. perks paired with the mods, 
mm-hmm. you can have like I can have a better devils that's PVE and a better devils that's PvP. Yeah, and but I that's... still felt the mods were okay. I mean, I know that I didn't we didn't see a whole. I what was it maybe eight to ten I would say right. Yeah. But I thought the ones that we saw seemed interesting. Yeah. I mean, when I was no, doing... I'm not arguing that the ones there are not like. There's no fluff. They're all like, I yeah, want function. Yeah. Like, and they all are function. That's what I'm yes. saying. I hope over time with like expansions, maybe they release one or two new mods as oh, something okay. to help build variety. Yes. I'm with you on that. That would be dope. That so, would be dope. That would be kind of a cool thing to be like, hey, we've got a couple new mods coming. This one's going to be against so and so, or this one's going to add, you know, a mm-hmm. couple ones. Because mm-hmm. like eight to 10 mods, you're still going to have most of the time. I mean, if I don't play Icarus, like jumping that much, that one still may not be for me. Some well, of those, see. some of those may be more PVE. So you've yes. got the bosses, the um, power, powerful enemies. So like the orange bars. Mm-hmm. So then you think about, okay, what am I going to use in PVE or PVP? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like four different mods. So I mean, yeah. that's where the I mean the perks and the mods combined may be a lot, but the actual mods themselves, while shortened, I wish there mm-hmm. were a, there. Hopefully they bring some more over time mm-hmm. if there's like the short of a list mm-hmm. as I saw. So that's mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. I mean, there is the chance that we have not seen all of the mods. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I see your point though. I see your point. Yeah. I mean, I will say this. Oh my God. God bless your vault. Because, you know, like you said, like there's going to be things where people are going to run, want to run like, you know, PVE specific type better devils and, and weapon loadouts. And then there's going to be ones that are like, you're going to get rolls combined with mods that are just going to be like godly in pvp so that's going to be yeah both going to be interesting because i know me at least my habits i hold on to certain builds i'm like oh this is too good to get away you know what i mean like it's gonna get to the point now like we may need more slots <laughs> in, in you know per per character in the, in the thing to hold on <laughs> i don't know if nine might be enough now like how crazy it is with exotics and, and create, you know, roles and stuff like that. So fun time, fun, fun, you know, new world problems to, to, to see. Oh yeah. So I don't know. I mean, what's your overall, what's your feel? Yeah. You're I mean, the one you they can... got to impress me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I'm you Captain know, Hardass know. now. Yeah, you know, you you, you tend to, to, to go on the uh, very cautious to. I would say I would say negative side because I wouldn't say that's you, but you know, you, you you've been hard on them. You've been yeah, hard on them. I'm on the analytical side because I'm gonna be yeah. like, I want to look in there and be like, all right, I want to know a little more. I want to see all this. I want to see. We saw the one set of perk trees, and that was interesting because it's just another tree of perk trees. So it's just one more basically, but it's a whole new super, which is. Mm-hmm. So that's the point where I was kind of wondering when you do the perk trees. Like, so if it's a whole new super, you mm-hmm. only have one way to play that super. You don't have two different ways to play that super. See right. my point? Mm-hmm. Well, absolutely, absolutely. So, so that's kind of one of those where yeah, you've yeah, got it, one. It, so I mean, they give you technically nine new supers, but mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. really two of them are the same that play mo- like slightly differently. Some will have double grenades, like mm-hmm. Stormcaller's this or what do I think Striker. Mm-hmm. That's like you've got your double grenade build, and then you've got a different. You've got your two different builds, but they're both striker. Now you just have a third perk tree that just changes everything up. So that's where I was hoping you could have like a super on the top, super on the bottom, and have mm. two and two. So there were more yeah. variety to the perk tree. So little things like that, maybe they'll add in time. But I mean, it's their way to. I mean, I'm not sad that there are things mm. in there. It's just if they're going to make them equal. It doesn't mm-hmm. feel like they are. There's two ways to play the old supers. There's only one way to play the new one. Mm-hmm. Stuff like no, that. No, I get it. I think what we're talking about is an overall, probably arc towards D3, which is, I don't think they'll be able to implement now, which is kind of going back to, you know, like how D1 was when you had yeah, the bubble. You bubbles, literally yep. can configure every single thing, you know what I mean, into builds that you want out of all of them. You know what I mean? So I get that. I, I completely get that. And, um, I don't know. My gut tells me I don't think we get that in D. I'll be shocked if they're able to put that in at some point during the lifespan of D2. But, um, yeah, we, we need that old school, you know, MMO style custom, customization with the perk bubbles per the subclass to truly configure it and truly play. So I don't think we're there yet. But to me, at least them adding this is, is like kind of like a little 
band-aid for what we've been complaining on as far as the subclasses and stuff like that. And yeah, and I also agree with you that, you know, let's be honest, like a lot of that new stuff looks really, really cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm just happy that, uh, and, and people are going to play it. We're all going to fluctuate to the new stuff first. That's just how it's going to go. Oh, yeah. But at least they, they did say, hey, we're doing this with Golden Gun. We're doing all the stuff that we know you're probably not going to want to touch initially because you want to do the new stuff. Keep in mind that we made some buffs. And that's all I want, just to not let, have stuff neglected. So, you know, like I said, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. You oh, know? Yeah. No, I mean, it's it's all progress in the right direction. I'm not, yeah. not saying that in any way. Like, mm-hmm. all of this seems positive. I like how the... I like how masterworks are evolving. Yeah. yeah. Do I think the 10 levels of a masterwork is kind of a way to slow that down? Maybe. Yeah. Kind of worried yeah. about that. Actually. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about that. I didn't know. I didn't know. I, didn't, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, you I'm going to have to see, like, I mean, it does give you something to spend glimmer on occasionally, which is normally, like, nothing. So mm-hmm. I guess there's that. But then as you get into, I want to know how hard is it going to be to get, you know, masterwork orbs and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. some of that stuff is just going to have to play out and see how it's balanced. My suggestion to anybody who's listening, don't master work anything too quickly because there's going to be yeah. a bunch of rolls coming your way for a little while. So you're going to have to wait a minute and see unless you just get one that is just epic. But mm-hmm. um, some of that stuff's going to take a little while. But I like yeah. at least the fact that, I mean, for one, there's different options because you got the different rolls. It is still mm-hmm. funny just to go back and be like, oh, we're going to... You know, make sure your tenth better du- your better doubles has a reason. They never figured that out without random rolls, and it's just like yeah. I was like that one just straight up. You got to eat your words and be like, you got to eat your words, and they know it. They clown oh, yeah. themselves yeah. while even saying that. You know what I'm saying? I felt yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, that's kind of one of those things that calling back to. But mostly overall, I mean, I want I just want to get my hands on the game. It's like we're less than a month away. Mm-hmm. We're twenty eight days away, whatever that is, math wise. Mm-hmm. Four, four Ooh, weeks, close. man. Four weeks, Close, man, and we get it a free of a, a one week pre prior to mess around with weapons. Yeah, that's stuff. gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I like it, man. Listen, they got so we got solstice going on at the end of the day. I got my four or five. Woo-woo. Ah, salute, salute, salute. Yeah, I got, I got the four or five go. armor. I've been slacking. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. I soloed the missions, not as terrible, but callous solo on blue. Oh, uh, yeah, he just. Yeah. He's, um, it's real you mean, touch um, and go. You mean Gaul, Gaul, right? Gaul, yeah, sorry, not Callus. Gaul. Yeah, mm-hmm. Gaul, I wish it should have been Gaul. Anyway, totally yeah, well, different like, problem. You're solo and Callus, we need to get a spotlight and send that to Bungie. <laughs> like, now, like. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you actually can do that. <laughs> I think people too man it because you have to be inside, but two man's as small as you get. But no, I'm definitely yeah. not that good either. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, so just solo and Gaul, it's like. I like the way those feel. I want more of that type of stuff. Leveling up the armor. Mm-hmm. I kind of like the way they did some of those. Like These are little teases that I want to see. Like, you wearing the full set, you get orbs. That's a set bonus, technically. Mm-hmm. More of that stuff. Like Those are the type of things that need to continue to evolve. And yes. honestly, I think with these expansions as they go, they're going to be like, so maybe armor... Perk sets, maybe that's in like the second one or Penumbra or something before what, like those are things to continue to evolve later, but they've got like, there's probably like a main project tied to each expansion or Mm -hmm. annual pass release, I should say. Mm -hmm. And those are the ones I'll be curious to see. But I mean, since January, we've been doing this and it's been quite the train to follow. And I think we're at a great place to say... Would you recommend Forsaken to anyone who was let down by anything in Destiny 1? Yes, you should pick it up. Yeah. And that's the so. best way I can phrase it. If you enjoyed yeah. D1, felt a little off on D2, mm-hmm. I think you're going to be happy with what they've done. And, yeah, this, and in even the, more ways. Yeah, I, I completely agree. That this is this is the time to come back now. You know, I mean, they're really going out their way to get back all the D1 sensibilities, but also that, that, that I don't feel it's talked about is Let's be honest, some D1 stuff wasn't good, right? No. And what I like is this is also the evolution of certain things from D1 because I do like the fact that, hey, we're not going to OP grenades just yet because there were some people. I remember how it used to be. People would throw a, a fusion on me and walk away. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. There was no gunplay. So they're, they're, to me, they're finding their way to, as far as that balance because as much as we – romanticized D1, there was still some flaws. Oh, no, I mean, there was, but part of me on the grenade stuff is like, I don't count on grenades for kills in PvP basically ever. They're a way to tickle people and, like, kind of hurt and then run in, but to me, a grenade 
should have some lethality sometimes. I don't think hardly any yeah. of them do. Uh, now there's be careful what you wish for. No, no, I, th no, and that's what I was like. Is it a balance mm -hmm. of like if it's more lethal, is it a longer cooldown time in PvP? I don't, I don't know the answer, and that's the thing right. I'd love and to be a tester. And is an ability spam, and people don't. There's gonna be no gunplay. That used to happen. People would throw, I said, like certain grenades. Remember fireballs, bro? Are we forgetting? <laughs> like, I, with, I know, but I was also boom. like with Viking funeral. You just throw that in a group and tick, 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 tick. It was over. And, and it was no gunplay. Like I said, be careful. <laughs> I understand. I'm just saying, like, I don't know what the balance is. But yeah. to me, sometimes it's annoying that a grenade that attaches to your body right. doesn't kill you when it explodes twice on some of those. Dude, I play a lot of PvP. That is, it is one of the most cheapest feeling. I'm telling you, like you, it, it, it felt like there's no skill, and we already know the magnetic nature of those type of grenades. You know, in they kind of like have the grenades in Destiny always have aim assist, like in my opinion, like as long as you throw in the general direction, it will stick to you. That kind of stuff. So I, I hear what you're saying in 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 theory, right? In 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 application if you have a grenade it should it theory should do more power but it's like with time to kill being increased you know it's 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 a tough balance in that you know i, I like it as a finisher I, this is again me personally i know you you want it to be more of your own style i get it you know me i just i, I like it as a finisher or startup or or like someone's running away and i get it because you know it's just i just feel it's a little bit more fair especially with time to kill being what it's going to be now like oh it's gonna but, be speedy yeah yeah this is a good one for debate, but I, I hear where you're going. I, yeah, I it's, it. like it's, it's like, and I don't know the answer, because, yeah, I mean, getting spammed with those was annoying. Did I do it too? Yes. Did I rely on those probably heavily? <laughs> yes. It's like, I totally understand that. Mine's just like, it is truly, like, the think of a grenade in real life. It's terrifying, mm -hmm. it's lethal, and that's what yeah. I feel some of you want, them... You want the old D1 grenade, just say it. <laughs> but I was like, if they are that hard... Then you have to avoid the spam. So then, is it too long? And that's why I was like, that's why I don't have the answer. And that's well, at least you admit that. At least you admit that. I respect that. I yeah, no, I don't. I don't have the answer. But some sometimes for me, it's like the one, the one hit, the shoulder charge, like the two hit melee. Those are back to feeling. And you were okay with those? Yeah. Oh yeah, because the problem with the engagements in close quarter, three smacks felt slap fest, man. It felt <laughs> weak. It, it did not feel good, right? Mm -hmm. Like. At the end of the day, if we're that close engaging, you know, and we already kind of shot each other the way, and the fact is still to have the three melee hit, no, no. that that's clumsy. I agree. I completely agree with you. Two is, in my opinion, fair. Yeah, you know two should yeah, bam, bam, like mm -hmm. that's, that's absolutely. Fair. So here's Absolute. an example. That map they were just playing twice. There seemed to be like an upper raised area with two rooms across a bridge. Right. So say you're on one side, you throw a trip mine behind somebody, it has a second, it arms, it explodes, still mm -hmm. not killing people? <laughs> I'm asking. I don't want that. I'll tell you, I okay. don't want that. No, it's like, that's, that. that's the, I'm just trying to get clarification, because that's not a fusion me. grenade. That's a throw, arm, hit, bam. Like, there's a delay to its function, yeah. so. Mm -hmm. I'm Absolutely. Just, so I'm just going for clear? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're fighting for that point. I'm um, you. just asking. <laughs> just peeking at an answer. Uh, um, I'm just See saying. I, like I don't talk. want it. Be careful. Really with <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can get much higher. <laughs> That's way up there. You're up there. I love it. I love it. I guess be careful what you ask for sometimes. Uh, no, no. I That's why I was like, I don't have the answer. Sometimes to me, it's just, it feels. That's why I was like, Sholo Charge just sucked before it did so it was just you run up bam you're like and then mm -hmm. i would die because they're shooting you as you run and then mm -hmm. you still have to go slap them twice and I, it was never enough so this that's a good change back to what i think it should be do i yeah. have the answer for great aids no but for me mm -hmm. do they feel right now not entirely but that's still a work in progress so yeah, but absolutely. again lots of changes in good directions woo woo <laughs> absolutely so well, I think we're wrapping yeah. up on an hour and 53 here, so... Yeah, we got a long point. Long slash, point. Special version of long point. Yeah. I should actually flash, like, put a like a little, like, line through it and see if I could do, like, a tape symbol and do long <laughs> over, the, <laughs> over the thumbnail cover. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm actually working with tweaks on my... Finally. It's been a little mm -hmm. long on my logo, so... Jesus, we've been waiting. Well, I was out of town my for, like, My new logo is getting lonely, waiting for your yeah, new... I know. <laughs> My little cheesy one down there, but now it's uh, 
It's getting close. He's working on. He's trying to finalize it tonight. But he lost all of his info, so he had a crash. And he told me that like a couple days after I got back, and I was getting ready to finish tweaks with him. So gotcha. it was like a few extra weeks in the making. So, but yeah, hopefully next week we'll have a uh, something sitting next to your little uh, ninja night there. Nice, nice. I'm waiting, man. I'm waiting. Yep. Gotta be. Gotta look good. So. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think this will be a good place to wrap it up. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. I know we had some in Twitch stream there for a little while. I think most of you guys have trickled off as we've stopped. Mm-hmm. But thank you guys for tuning in. Um, salute, salute. And this will be on my YouTube. I know you'll throw it on yours as well. So definitely mm-hmm. follow Lord Cognito. Um, sure. Ebontis, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Iron Lords Podcast, Tick mm-hmm. Network. Hit us on everything. <laughs> yes, please yeah, do. Find please us everywhere. Do. So. Find us every way, support what we're doing, try to make good content for you guys, and just generate good, healthy discussion, you know? And, yeah. and this is why I do it with my boy, Bontis. We always have those those deep discussions that turn into long point, but it's fun. It's it's good for, you know, talking about what's happening, the depth of the game, seeing both sides of the, you know, fence, even with stuff that he may not agree with me and I may not agree, but it's always good to hear the other side. So that kind of stuff, I always like that type of engagement. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the thing. It's like we sometimes have different points, but... It's kind of mm-hmm. thing. I told my wife, I was like, yeah, I'm going to be on the podcast. She's like, should like you should be on there at some point. She's like, uh, what's your opinion on this? She's like, I have nothing. I was like, it'd be hilarious just to have her on here for like two seconds. <laughs> she knows absolutely nothing. The opinion <laughs> from a casual gamer. She's like, I'm not even a casual gamer. I'm like, that's right. <laughs> so. No doubt. Oh, yeah. So thank you guys. Yeah. Follow us. Like mm-hmm. the video if you do enjoy them. Uh, leave mm-hmm. comments if you guys want to see us hit up anything in our next Flashpoint. We'll mm-hmm. look at the TWAB and honestly just yes. see if it merits one this Friday. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Maybe we'll it try. Won't. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe it well, actually will we'll, we'll be like. Think about it, Twilight. I think that's a good thing because if yeah. they cover a lot of it, there's probably going to be no need to to for, to be redundant. But if there's way more new stuff that they yeah. didn't talk about, then we'll. Yeah. So we'll, we'll make we'll that adjustment. Point, so yeah, we'll see. Yeah. So Absolutely. as always, follow us on Twitter. That's usually is where you get the updates if we're going to go live. But uh, mm-hmm. before we get to two hours. Let's go ahead and wrap this thing up so I can render it and upload it, and then I still got other videos to do. But no doubt, uh, enjoy your grind. Solstice is fun. It's long for some. If you're going for all three, good luck. Good luck with that. Yeah, but for the rest of you guys, thank you for tuning in. And do you want to do sign-ups? We kind of got them covered. Yeah, we kind of got them covered. They know okay. who we are. They know yeah. who we are. <laughs> all right, guys. We will see you soon. Have a good one. Peace.